but for some reason they're all in bonus feats rather than, you know, class. Or oh, that's true. You should be able to, you be able to just click and drag them to the proper category, because I could. No, I, I can't do that. That's really weird. Yeah, mine, mine worked when I clicked and dragged it. Oh, does it work? Does it work like, now? It now. <laughs> Way to fucking gaslight me, Pathfinder. You mean for treat? Yeah. Okay. That's up. That's up. Okay. Um, Andrew, what's the story this week? <laughs> the story. Yeah, oh you know. boy, do I have one for you? Um, let's see, um, I think I already told you guys about the guy who basically shit himself in the bathroom, right? Yes. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. What even happened this week that was even interesting? <laughs> Did All right. Nothing it, actually interesting happened. If nothing Dude, interesting happened, I'm actually happened. trying to think about it because nothing. I don't think really anything's gone on at work that was like actually asked anything normal. <laughs> don't worry. This whole week, uh, my my uh, college classes getting a little tough, a little annoying, but I did play Elden Ring a lot more <laughs> because of it. <laughs> did you at least see the man on the tiny horse like get beaten? Yes. Oh. I have, um, I, not gonna lie, I have bought that game three times now. Damn. I bought one for my PlayStation 5. I bought it for PC, just in case someone wants to play on there. And I'm also just playing through that now on PC. And then, uh, I bought the collector's edition because I didn't think I was going to get my hands on one, but I did. And now I have a PS4 version for some reason. But you know, collector's edition and the statue is dope. And here I am. <laughs> okay, but uh, Josh, are you ready for your intro? Uh, no, but let's try it anyways. Okay. Uh, where the... As soon as you hear the music. Last time on Bad Ventures, the gang at, uh, took its time sp uh, searching around, grabbing the, the shiny, and uh, dealing with uh, uh, Tangle. Uh, Tangle something, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> but at any rate, uh, we ended up giving him the shiny, which may or may not have been a very bad idea. In addition, we have pieced together that the, the festival might actually be the time that they're striking and that the lighthouse actually causes the dead to rise. With that news, we only have only a few days towards the, well, a day towards the, the festival. So we don't have a lot of time. We need to figure out what's going on and how to stop it in a very short amount of time. <coughs> Will we be able to do, handle this? Find out soon. On Bad Ventures, Sigma. <laughs> Good job. Why does it always play that like right after? I need to figure out why it keeps doing that. But <laughs> As... the intro music keeps going. Uh, more, uh, more intro. More <laughs> intro. <laughs> I believe the music. This here. is the belt sander episode. <laughs> So for some reason, a couple of you are way louder than they need to be. Let's turn that down, and we come back to about 20 minutes after you guys left Gauntlet. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the subtitle. Yeah, I don't I don't know how I just resubbed last week too. Weird. <laughs> I'm throwing you extra money. It's just, I guess they put it up. <laughs> I, I don't even know, man, but thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, it is now nighttime. You guys just got back to Otari. All right. 
It is 7.20 p.m. Will anyone but... even talk to us at this late of an hour? As... One way to find out. Yeah. As far as you can tell, maybe. Um, there are a lot of people, though, that seem to just be a lot, like, super busy for the festival. Or getting ready tomorrow. So, where do you guys want to go? Uh, I guess the first order of business would be to try and find the mayor. Sure. He, pro he probably won't even be in his mansion. He'll probably be out and about trying to set up for the, uh, the festival. Could be. Let's go see if we can find him. Yes. As as we're walking around, I will try to keep my eye out for any building that has the Osprey symbol on it, since I can see better in the dark than anybody else. Okay. Do you actually have dark vision as opposed to... I have, yeah, I have full dark vision. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're low light boys. Where would you guys like to go? Um, why is that pond? I guess we should check to see if the mayor is like at their actual house first. You could before we ex scour the town. All right, if you want to do that, you just have to head over to this way. It'll take about give or take 10 minutes of just walking straight there. Are you guys fine with that? Yeah. <laughs> Whoosh. As you guys walk towards the gate, you see you see the light just kind of illuminating the um, manor while the guards are just kind of at post. They see you guys coming. They don't raise their weapons or anything, but they are a little bit wary of the night. We probably also look very worse for wear. You guys definitely look a little bit more worse for wear, but you're not super injured. You guys are actually technically full health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technically. We're just mentally, like, look like we're yeah. worse for wear. <laughs> uh, is the mayor here? The guards will just kind of say, uh, no, he is not here right now. We need to see him immediately. And for what Bring business? Well, we were told to t uh, come to him if uh, anything was serious about the lighthouse, and it, there is indeed something threatening about it. Hmm. Well, if you're trying to talk to him about something that serious, then he's probably around in, around in the uh, festival grounds right now, practicing his speech with Rajani. Alright, thank you. Of course. You see, um, you also see past the little gates, you see what looks to be a kind of a teenage girl just playing about. She looks almost like the mayor. It's a little uncanny. Huh. The mayor have a daughter? Uh, yeah, a couple. He has a couple? A couple? Hmm. Yeah, Man, he's he has. Busy. I was gonna say, damn, he he fucks. <laughs> <laughs> the guards are just gonna be, are just gonna just not say a word to that. I just I'm imagining um, he's hearing a knoll say that <laughs> just casually. Damn, I he promise fucks. that was out of character. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> now, if he had like ten kids or something, I would absolutely say, dude, learn when to pull out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, he All tries right, to uh, he tries to keep his personal life and his pol political life um, separate. So, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I mean, have so, as many kids as you want. I'm I'm not judging. If you don't mind me asking before we leave, what exact street is he? Pr uh, would he be delivering his speech on? Um. Actually, if you guys don't know where the market is, it should be right over by, uh, funnily enough, Mehemi Street. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Well, we'll check there first. Thank should be, it would be pretty close to the Crook's Nook if you guys have been there yet. I think we have. Pretty sure. Uh, 
it's just that way we're not like wandering aimlessly. So I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. All right. Uh, then I guess we'll we'll go and find the mayor. As you guys are about to start turning away, you see what looks to be a pebble hit the head of one of the guards as he like gets into a quick battle stance. Turns around and he sees the little the uh, the teenage girl laughing and running away. Uh, yeah, she tends to do that when she's bored. But hey, I mean, it keeps us awake. Is she usually does she usually cause trouble or is uh, is she pretty well behaved most of the time? Uh, she's probably the troublemaker out of the kids. Funnily enough, being the oldest one, too, she's probably not the best influence. What's her name, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I'm sorry if I probably cannot divulge that information. You know, just probably in case. Probably breach a contract. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. It's just a curiosity for some reason. <laughs> um. Uh, sorry, I had a question in my head and I was trying to form the words for a moment there. Uh, the, the question I was going to ask the guard was if, um... If he knows if the mayor's family uh, has any members that are adept in magic. Uh, adept in magic? As yeah. to what do you mean? Just being able to cast spells might be familiar with any with the, the school's magic. Um, your best bet's probably going to be to either ask uh, hmm, either Rin Maybe Morblint. He seems to be uh he seems to like the magical arts. The Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm hmm All Right, and uh off we go. We'll right. See the mayor. You? And then you guys will now suddenly fly towards the mayor's area, which will take a, roughly another ten minutes. <laughs> you are now right about here as you guys see what looks to be the beginnings of the festival all set up a lot of the stalls are in place and a lot of the uh, food looks like it's getting prepared to get cooked so somewhat soon it's all around a clock tower right uh no no clock tower okay. <laughs> sadly Dang. sadly no clock tower there is also no giant moon above you do -do, Damn! Do -do, do -do, do -do. <laughs> <laughs> Just a shaking ground. But um, when you guys get there, on the stage looks to be two somewhat familiar men to you guys. You see the mayor, the current mayor, who's apparently overcritical, um, Menhemis, and along with the other guy that you guys met was Armin Rajani as they seem to be looking over their lines and just talking over each other constantly. I see. Uh, excuse me. They do not pay you any mind as the guards try to stop you. What do you have? Uh, what are you trying to do? They're trying yeah, to practice. A, we're trying to inform, inform him of something dangerous in the in the lighthouse. All right. As we were told to do. And give us one moment. You see uh, one of the guards just pop back to the back of the stage. This man right here actually relays the message. I don't think I don't remember. I think you guys did meet him. I don't know which one of you met Was him. Was he our pun brother? No. Are you talking about this guy? Yes. Uh, I believe that was Gray who did some bodyguard work for a day. Oh, yeah, I did some... That's right, when we did that one, like, day where we tried to get some work and barely made anything. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I spoke to him and uh, signed up for guard work. Yeah, uh, you are familiar with Kalino over here. As he walks up to the stage and informs the two, Rajani just kind of, like, you see his face just go from, like, angry to even angrier as he just kind of storms off to the back. You see, um, 
Mehmes just kind of sigh a bit, walks down towards you guys. Ugh, well, what can I do for you guys at this time of night? Well, Mayor, uh, you were to you told us to come back if anything were were wrong with the lighthouse, and we've discovered some troubling news. And we may have come to believe that the town may be under attack during the festival. And where and are you getting this information from? Um, from what, what upon we which I reprise the stuff that I wrote down about the paintings that we discovered that each uh, had like quotations on them. I mentioned the name Volok Azerne, um, and uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and then I assume that as a group, we basically discuss about what we experienced at the top of the lighthouse. The top of the lighthouse and the bottom of the lighthouse. <clears throat> well, that's troubling indeed, but those aren't exactly... That's, that's not exactly full-on proof that something's going to attack us. Mind you, I've never heard of any beam of ghosts before. I assume that it's there. There's a we have a couple of number of theories, but I think the one that I I am currently following the most right now is that those portraits represent um, the dur uh, a town during the time of Belcora and. The fact that she had, um, and the fact that there was writing, I serve you still, you shall be avenged, makes me think that there is still someone. There is still somebody who clearly, uh, is a follower and intends on having the same fate fall upon this town, especially since this town is connected to the fall of Bakora. Belcora, sorry. Bacora from Yu-Gi-Oh. Got it. <laughs> Bacora. <laughs> Bacora. She kept trying to summon Zork next here. <laughs> that was about to say. Not a very good deck. <laughs> Not a very good deck. The true we god. We don't have anything Zork. to worry about that deck shit. <laughs> you see, as you keep saying your words, he, he starts like rubbing his head, almost like a little irritated, just slightly. But you know, he seems to be a lot more mild-mannered of a man than the other guy who just so happens to walk back in. Rajani just yells out, Are you going to listen to these fucks? Seriously, man, miss? Ugh. Have a backbone and just tell him to leave. We're kind of hey, busy right wanna, now. You want to come to the lighthouse with us? I can show you around. You think I, I want to show you the wonderful blood pool that that's causing a, the spirit of Belcora to show up? You think I have time for that right now? There is seriously a festival going on. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, what is a, what, what, what is a festival if it ends up getting destroyed? Yeah, and what proof do you have? Show me. Like I said, you want to come to the lighthouse and see the ghost for yourself? We don't exactly have that time right now, do we? Then you should take our word for it, because we have your guys' best interest in mind. And we should... We should take the word of four outsiders. Two of you ain't even human. Trying what? to help you, for the record. So uh -huh. I've done nothing to try and help anyone in this town. Right. I'm, we have your best interest in mind, and I don't know how else we can prove that. <sighs> then just go the fuck away. And that will be the best proof you have. As you see, as he's getting angrier, Man Mess just goes, <clears throat> Rajani, you are not the mayor. I am. Now step off. If you get elected tomorrow, good on you. But right now, this is my problem. You should just see Rajani just kind of sink. <sighs> Fuckers. And he turns around, leaves. I'm sorry. One more for one more for the road. Oh, he says, "Fuckers," and then leaves. Ah, there it is. Next, I'm expecting him to say something racist shit. 
I mean, he technically just called half, like, three-fourths of our group pointed mm-hmm. out that they're not human. So, <laughs> I feel like that's pretty close in that ballpark. Sorry, he is... He's a little short-tempered, but he means well. <laughs> sure doesn't feel like it. Yeah, he's quite single-minded in that fact. He's always been like that. Is he that desperate to be mayor? Mm, I think so. Because uh, somebody that desperate probably shouldn't be running. You catch my drift? That's That's what I would say, too. But he does have a right to this town. If you don't mind me asking, because I, th- I think for me, I just mainly do not recall um, us ever covering this point, but what are your connections to this town? Because from what I hear that it's because you both have ancestry related to this town. That is correct. We is that- We actually do both have ancestry from this town. If you don't mind me asking, who is your ancestor that ties you to this town? Well, if you can't tell by the last name, then you guys definitely aren't from here. Well, see, me, I come from... Just give your GM a second as he pulls up the names. (laughs) (laughs) Damn it, B-Dog, you're making me do work. Where the hell are these names? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I'm only. I only had to go to page sixty-eight. Jesus. Well, I come from a Safana Men Miss. She's my ancestor. She was part of the Rosen Guard along with Carmen's uh, ancestor, Vol Rajani. They both helped found this town. So then why wouldn't he be more receptive to, you know, people trying to save it? He's not very trusting of outsiders ever since... uh, Ever since the incident. Oh. Incident. Oh, uh, right. Outsiders. I forgot. Well, about give or take... Hmm, 30 years ago, sorry, my mind, I can't remember exactly. 30 years ago, a man, his name, uh, his name eludes me at the moment, but he was an outsider, you see. He was actually friends with the druids outside. He turned into a werewolf and basically nearly destroyed most of our town. Hmm. People still fear the druids out there, but I know deep down they're all good people, especially that whirly wind. Uh, but you know, fear can get the best of you. And Rajani, uh, him and he kind of looks around. Kalino. He, so he kind of sees this guy. He's making sure that she doesn't. He doesn't hear the story. They probably took it the, the hardest. Hmm. What? Why did they take it the hardest? Was were they like friends with this person? No. You see, that night, a lot of people lost their lives, including the uh, the woman that both of them loved. Mm. See. And I don't think either of them have really gotten over it. <sighs> well, so, sorry about that depressing story. It's understandable. If you, if you need to know more, right. feel free to speak with Royally Wynn. They're uh they're a nice person. Okay, can do. It's Again, we understand that it's it's a stressful time 
and everything because the festival is literally right around the corner. It's just we don't we don't have much time if, I, if, if the festival is indeed the place where we're going to get hit. And and the thing is, too, is that for us, it's obviously we're going to try to prevent the this possibility as much as we can. It's just it wouldn't feel right if we didn't inform you about it. Um, I don't think anything's going to happen immediately in the morning. Um, I think that it won't, that whatever could happen will happen once the festival is in full swing in the evening. Um, so we're going to be trying incredibly early in the morning to finish our exploration of the area surrounding the lighthouse in hopes we can solve this mystery because that that light in that lighthouse and what we experienced up there was not normal. If you guys are so, is, if you guys are this insistent, then I understand. But it's just not that easy to stop a whole festival the day prior, you know? And a lot of people have been looking forward to this all year. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I think that Regardless of whether we stopped the festival or not, it was going to happen anyway. I it's because it's not so much the festival itself. I feel like it's the specific day. Day? What do you mean day? It's a day of significance, as far as we can tell. I guess so. I guess it technically counts as a significant day. <laughs> And the festival being celebrated is, technically speaking, irrelevant to what's actually going to happen. So should what's basically a prophecy of sorts come true. Yes. And I know it sounds hard to believe when you put it like that, but... Hmm. Well, you see, you are your conjecture is slightly correct. Tomorrow is somewhat a important day this the time this is basically the the second founding of the town and we celebrate it with our elections so if someone were to attack us during this time it'd be rather foolish as this is probably the most guarded The thing is, is that I agree with you, um, but based if, if and again, this is a huge if because we, we only have theories to work off of. It could be a multitude of possibilities as to what's going on there. That wouldn't matter because it would be something that would strike from an incredibly long range and would fill the streets with chaos. This is something magical. <laughs> this isn't just a bunch of brain-dead bandits walking into the town and trying to do stuff. This is this something is... that is beyond basic comprehensions. It's on the level of cataclysmic events. All right, well... At most, we could try and delay it. How about this? If you, need, if you can figure out what's going on tomorrow morning, then you'll have my full support. Like I said, though, it's impossible for me to stop this festivities, even even if I told everyone that Look, I wasn't showing up. The, yeah, that's fine. We don't have we, to stop the festival. We just need to get to it before the festival starts. Then you have my blessing. Feel free to feel free to, uh, you know, head back here to the market in the morning and we'll get you a bit of supplies. On the house. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you guys tonight? I was, well, we were in the middle of a debate, but uh, Rajani has seemed to have left. I apologize uh, greatly for interrupting. It's all right. I wanted to go spend time with my family anyways. <laughs> say, Rajani just uh, really needs to um, lighten up, to put it nicely. Ugh, you know, 
he really does, but what can you do? He has hot, he, he's been born blo um, hot blooded, but can't really get away from it, can you? Eh, I guess. I just don't put much stock in the worldview like that. <clears throat> well, if you guys need anything, just make sure to let me know by the morning. Gotcha. Will do. Alright. Okay. And with that, what do you guys want to do now? Uh, look for that symbol. Alright. Uh, what else? We didn't find anything on our, on our <clears throat> way there, did we? Uh, no, not on the way there. Nope. Shouldn't we probably just go to sleep, try to take a look around the lighthouse, and then report to the mayor early in the morning? Rather than looking? I mean, we can look on the way, but I don't know how valuable our time would be spent on that. Yeah, that's the only thing that I'm concerned about, because that that's if there's a symbol in this town, it could literally be anywhere in the town. It could just be like a house in the corner of the area that we don't know. <laughs> yeah, or it could of be like on every house. Well, the question is that would it be on something significant or would it be something hidden? I think it might be something that would be in plain sight that no one really gives it the time of day. Oh, that's the thing, is because like, Mr. Wall said he saw it in town, he just doesn't remember where. So it's probably not that big of a deal. It just might be something to look into later. Oh. Yeah. Um, I forgot. Uh, I think it was uh, Andrew? Or, I mean, uh, Irvon? Yeah. I think you're the one who had a recollection of it, right? Uh, it was Anton. Oh, no, Anton. it was it was Anton who had the recollection. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I don't right. remember where. We yeah, were uh, give remember... me a society check. A society check? Yeah. Hey, Ooh. I'm actually decent at that. If you remember, the twenty first night of September. Um, you remember... I don't remember the night of September. Hey, uh, you know, thirteen could be something. With the 13, you know the basic knowledge of the town? Um, the basic knowledge that you know this river is named the Osprey River. Okay. So it might be alongside the... The, the river. river. My only guess would be is to search every house that would be along, along the river for now. Mm -hmm. I guess we do that since we have the time tonight and then... Get so some we... rest. So wake. So we wake up early. Does that sound good? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Upon um, you guys looking around the uh, the river, you guys remember. You guys do see what looks to be a lively, um, a lively um building, built right on the bridge. It looks to be, it looks to be, basically full of patrons at the moment. Should, should we go in and see what it's about? I mean, no stern stone left unturned. Uh, how long did this convert conversation with the mayor and the search take? Um, uh, with the conversation with the mayor and the search, um. Mayor, 20 minutes, the search was actually basically instantaneous. Okay. Because you guys, the, you guys were checking right here. Okay. Okay, so, so 20 minutes then. Yep. Okay. So, um, upon you guys g coming over towards this lively tavern, what do you guys do? <clears throat> um... I guess First, we take, inspect uh, like the tavern, the name of it, and the uh, the icon to see if it matches up with the the rest, uh, the icon that we had seen. Uh, let me see. Seems to be somewhat of an unsuspecting tavern, but interestingly enough, the more you look at it, the more you see that it's actually built as part of the bridge. It goes straight down. And with the name kind of uh, swinging by the wind, 
You see, it's called the Crook's Nook. Oh, I remember this. I remember be being told this was a bit unsavory. Should we go and check it out? Sure. May as well. I mean, I'm... Just keep your wits about. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let me just move you guys towards the bridge. I'm just gonna put Grand top of the house. <laughs> so edgy. <laughs> just like doing that squat in the middle of, <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, that's right. That's where I'm. That's where I turn into my wolf form and just howl at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're like the werewolves are back. <laughs> oh, oh no. Jesus! It's Thirty damn years. Put the town on alert. And I just turn back to Marvel. I'm just like, well, the town's leaving. <sighs> Sounds in a panic. Ah, <laughs> uh, the the plan. <laughs> All right, but when you as you guys um start heading over towards the tavern, um, it looks like no one's really paying you guys any attention as they're all having their own merry fun. You see, someone at the counter it looks to be a female. Oh, uh, see, let me double check her thing. Rather, she looked like she'd be kind of worried about how busy it is, but she looks to be not even caring about anything in the world as she's watching her employees run back and forth with kind of a nice little chagrin. Hmm. Hmm. Someone else start this conversation. <laughs> right up. Um, as you see some of her um, employees walking or running back and forth into the back room, you guys see what looks to be the symbol of an osprey in the back. Hmm. I'm gonna squint at it. As the uh, as the curtains keep flapping open and open, you you kind of do see that it is 100% an osprey kind of perched above another door in the back. Um, I motion over to it. For? And I, I can't think of a way how to get get into the back. I mean, because of the way it's positioned, I can't think of a good story like, oh, we we're trying to bring in materials for the well, hang on. Think about it like think about it like this though. This place is super busy. What if they took some offhand help on the cheap? True. That could work. What if? <laughs> you guys could. You guys could <laughs> do attempt. We wanna, do we want to try that angle? See if they'll take like hired hands. Sure. Um, I want all four of you guys to give me a perception check. Blind, please. Ooh. Ooh. Anton and Irvon, you guys were the only ones to spot this as you guys were talking about your um, talking about your um, plan. You see one of the workers as they were coming by dropping off um, beers and pints to people kind of walk a little too close to one of the patrons you see their hand just kind of go as you see like what looks to be a shining silver in their hand as they kind of pocket it into their uh into their uh pocket as they continue on with their job so a, a patron slid someone a silver piece no, you see, you see what looks to be a worker. Steel. Oh, well, we can press him for uh to get into the back. Hmm. How do you think we should go about this? Uh, we should try getting his attention discreetly. Hey, barkeep! <laughs> uh, I don't waiter, know. Waiter! Waiter! 
Bar fight. Or <laughs> 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 uh, were I a different character? Sure. <laughs> but not not this one. All right, but um, what, do, do we know like what, 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 what the worker's role was? Was he just like a busser or a? Uh... He seemed to be a waiter. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty bussy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take away a hero point for that one. <laughs> oh yeah, we start with a hero. Point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh, <that was> <laughs> I couldn't resist. And now, I'm and now you're going to die later. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you have a chance of getting another hero point. Yeah, if, if I get <laughs> when he tries to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so yeah, I, I would attempt to just try and get the waiter's attention and try and talk to him. All right. What would you guys like to do? So. Detail uh, the next it to time me. He, he comes. <laughs> over to Tell me where way. we're all sitting, assumedly, I would attempt to try and hail him. Alright, um, and, uh, you guys find an unoccupied table, just recently left by some other patrons. Um, when you guys sit down, the stools are kind of sticky, and they creak heavily. Can I even is. see on top of the table? Uh, you have a hard time, but you can see just barely. Okay. This is enchanting. <laughs> Lovely. I like this chair. I don't after, know about you, but... After a while, a different waiter comes to, towards you guys. Hello. What can I do for you? Um, there, there was another waiter here. Did he just uh, clock out? Another waiter? Um... Trying to think. Maybe. I, sorry, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't keep uh, tabs on my peers. A little busy, you know. That's fair. Well, I was wondering if you guys maybe needed an extra pair of hands this evening. It looks pretty busy in here. You see him just go. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Uh, you, you, sorry, you're gonna have to talk to um to my boss about that. Is he in the back? Uh, she is actually right there. Oh. You see the lady who's just been kind of Yeah, you see the lady who's just just been basically sitting on like sitting on a chair just kind of watching. Uh sure. Uh, uh, uh mind you, uh make sure you keep your manners about you. Uh she tends to kick out unsavory folks. Absolutely. You don't have a thing to worry about with us. As I look around the the kind of seedy place. Absolutely. Give me uh, another perception check. All of us or just Josh? Um, since uh, Josh looked around. Uh, blind oh. or public? Blind. There's something funny about saying a blind perception check, though. <laughs> <laughs> that is very ironic. And <laughs> um, with that perception check... You see, this time you see the other way around. The patron steal another silver from what looks to be a busser. So it's reversed this time. The patrons yeah. are yes. stealing money from the... Yes. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Just constant stealing from each other. I'll, I'll I'm... keep an eye and make sure... Keep on that eye on that specific person. Maybe to gain favors with the, uh, the person that needs help. Okay. Did... Did um for, Anton for like and a Irvin... possible favor for the boss? All right. Did Anton and Irvin let um, Gray and Boglin know about the theft earlier? Yes. Okay. So I, I at that, that point I am like keeping a very close tabs on my like little money pouch to try to make sure that nothing gets stolen. Mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no one would really talk with us, but you never know. I'm yeah. small. I'm less than three feet tall. I'm going to so guess yeah, you guys try to keep a... Freaking massive. Uh, I'm going to guess you guys try to keep a wide berth from everyone. Yeah, but, I'm, I'm already, like, clinging to... Or not clinging, but, like, 
very close to Mr. Spinny because yeah, I, I would I would have Boglin on my shoulder at this point. Boglin is very afraid. Uh, I was gonna place. say I have nothing to lose, so <laughs> <laughs> I have no money. So. They fin dangle your shield. Natural twenty master sleight of hand. They start rolling in place to cast shadows to distract you. Skyrim, when you pick someone's pocket and you just take the armor they're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> they just walk away like it's nothing. Pick pocket 100. But you guys do stand up as the waiter introduces you to his boss. She looks at you all, kind of sizes you up. Hey, uh, what can I do for you? Good evening, uh, madam. You were looking for a job. I... Uh, I'm known in these parts as Irvin Spinnycog, and I was looking for some work. Let me see your hands. I show her my big meaty paws. <laughs> big meaty claws! <laughs> no, paws. Get them right. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You two. Sorry, I have no work for you. Um, actually... I might yeah, have something like for heavy you. Heavy items lifted and moved, that kind of thing. You guys are rather imposing. How about I pay you to guard for the night? Excellent. I already have have my first person to kick out as I point over to the uh, the uh, patron who stole some money. Huh. Want me to take take care of him? He stole from. Give uh, me a second before you uh, before <laughs> I hire you on. You two, let me look at your hands. Does she most gray, gray and yeah. Boglin? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I show my hands. I show mine. <laughs> Tiny. Death. All right. You guys are going to work as my waiters tonight. Uh. <laughs> uh, okay. I do have a way with food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> uh. Okay. Boglin, are you going to be able to contain yourself and not eat everything? I'm just imagining the version of this where Boglin just comes out with a platter with, like, literal trash on it. You guys ordered a trash platter? Hey! I don't want to hold back! I need to clean up the scraps off the table! That will be fast! Ah, so cleaning the table. the table. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh-huh. Well. <laughs> you two, keep guard for any unsavory people. While you two... She motions you guys to the back. Do you follow her? Uh, sure. If Gray goes, I will follow, and I'll yeah. wave at... Just kind of give the affirming um, nod to the group if they're going to the back. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say that I'm cautiously following. <laughs> Something about her demeanor disturbs me a bit. Boglin's pretty happy that she's not trying to be mean to him. <laughs> <laughs> Gray is hoping that she doesn't be mean to him. <laughs> um, you guys go towards the back. You see what looks to be a couple more doors. One with the Osprey symbol on, the to on top of it, and one looks to be the kitchen where people keep coming in back and forth from. She motions over you guys to get a little closer, and she goes, I'll give you guys about two hours. Um, show me how much you can get. Sure As she walks back. Food? Uh, what? Uh, uh, she... Are you cooking? Are you bussing? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we're waiters, I, I guess. Well, you'd be going out, taking orders, bringing them back into the cooks. Uh, yeah. As... Drinks, that sort of thing. Yeah, um, when she says, show me how how much you guys can get, I just she just leaves that up to your imagination as she walks back, bringing you guys back towards the front. Like, I know what she means, but Boglin doesn't, so. <laughs> <laughs> you might need some help. <laughs> you two, guards. Yes, yes ma'am. Stand up towards the front. Just at, right at the entrance, you see any unsavory folks doing anything just feel free to let me know and I'll tell you if you if they should leave 
Alrighty. That does include your friends. Oh, we'll keep a close eye on that. I'm sure. I'll give you guys about two hours just to work. Okay. Will do. Uh, Thank you. Thank you kindly. Uh, and I guess we'll get to work. Uh, did she do anything with the guy that was actually pickpocketing? Um, you, now is the time you can bring it up. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it up first before she actually leaves. Huh. Him? He's fine. All right. So long as you know what's going on. If you catch him, if you catch him again, let me know. Gotcha. I have no idea what Grand Boglin should do at this point. It's like I, it's like we can go along with the whole thing of being waiters, uh, assuming that's what she meant, or we can go and investigate the door. <laughs> it's simple. All right. So Maybe this, will, what to do. this will be a little bit of the um, the first hour. What would you guys like to do um, right now? Um, uh, <clears throat> Gray and um, Boglin, you guys have cute little uh, aprons on. <laughs> I I like turn and pose in front of Gray. Wow, I love this outfit. <laughs> it's like, can you focus? We've got work to do. <laughs> Meanwhile, I already cleaned two tables. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you've already cleaned two tables? We just got changed. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean I can't eat while I'm changing. <laughs> Look at that table. I point over at the closest table. <laughs> <laughs> the table is actually surprisingly clean. I was expecting like a big old like bite mark out of it. <laughs> I I just ate the scraps and brought the plates back to the kitchen. Eight mark in the plate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, okay, I got a little bit excited. <laughs> but other than that, I think I'm doing good so far. Okay. Also, well, ah, never mind. I was gonna, <laughs> never mind. I was going to say something out of character. Here's the other question: Did do, do Boglin and Gray get tips during? Uh, no. If they actually do any waiting activity? I mean, we're literally at a place where like the patrons and the waiters are stealing from each other. <laughs> you, you have to do. <laughs> As I clean this first table, do I like notice anything like out of the ordinary that's not like a dish or a like leftover food? The the first thing you actually notice is that this food this uh food is and m- mostly entirely seafood. Um, one thing you also do remember is that this particular salmon snack that you just ate partial of is very familiar. Oh. The taste is almost exactly the same as the one you found somewhere earlier. Yeah, what's his name? Is here. Oh, in the um, the boat earlier. Yes. I will let Gray know, like, hey, by the way, that tasted a lot like those snacks you found at the lighthouse. I'll, I'll say that, like, a little bit quietly, not actually screaming. <laughs> Just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, back at the lighthouse? So does that mean... So whoever owned those sacks must have gotten the food from here. At least that's my guess. I shrug, I'm like, oh, it tasted exactly the same. Let's keep waiting. Uh, let's keep doing some uh, waiter stuff and let's just keep an eye out for anything that might stand out. Already on it! <laughs> so I start heading off to the next table. <laughs> I don't mean food! <laughs> I mean in general! <laughs> I'm already at, heading to the next table that the guests have just left. <laughs> it's just like Ed, Ed, and Eddie, just like. <laughs> <laughs> now eat your table. Okay, so is that what you guys are gonna do for the first hour? Uh, yeah. All right, yeah, I, I'm gonna be trying to work and stay out of trouble. Okay, you guys are just gonna work on me. Got it. Oh, oh. I, I, I'd say that you could probably get away with maybe like checking out some things, maybe behind the scenes. Or you guys could cause a scene. I think it's more that I'm like in a situation where I don't trust my roles to be able to successfully <laughs> do anything. <laughs> so every time, every time Raylan says, "All right, I need you to roll me a blind this check or just a check in general," and I either just barely meet bare minimum or I fail <laughs> miserably. <laughs> well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I know. Uh, 
I mean, so the the lady that runs the place, she's basically like always at the front, right? Yeah, she's basically at the front. Um, every so often, she does head towards that the back door. Okay, and, and like, hangs about for a good like five to ten minutes before coming back. Hangs about every five to ten minutes, or no, hangs about four or five. To- yeah, okay. I'm assuming since she's in charge, she's just like keeping an eye on the workers and stuff like that, the patrons and everything. Yep. Um, makes sense. So I'm thinking that maybe I will. Oh boy, this is gonna be risky. I am. I'm thinking I'll wait for an opportunity where like like right in between the intervals so like if she comes into the back and hangs around that door I want to like check out the door immediately after she leaves back to the front to like try to make the most time I can alright I will need you to give me a stealth check then blind (laughs) it's exactly as you feared Please be a decent roll. With that stealth check, you find an opportunity where she comes right back towards the uh, front. You just so happen to be coming back with some dirty dishes towards the uh, kitchen area. You drop them off and you find this is a perfect opportunity to check toward the door. You look about back and forth. You see that no one seems to be watching at the moment. What do you do? Um, I want to, hmm, I want to see if I can open the door, but I think, I guess I'm just going to, oh boy. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like having like all these different fears sticking in my head now. <laughs> all right, if you want, I can come back to you real quick. Uh no, it's okay. I'm going to I'm going to see if the door is locked. Um as you put your hands on the door knob, you turn, it is unlocked. Oh. Oh, okay. Now you actually have a real <laughs> choice. <laughs> Do I go in and get in trouble? <laughs> uh, <sighs> fuck. <laughs> okay, maybe now come back to me. I need some time to figure out if I'm okay. <laughs> I need to figure out how much I'm willing to commit here. <laughs> All right, Boglin, you were just doing um, waitering work. I sure am. All right. Um, you two, um, during your first hour, as you guys were just keeping guard towards the front, you guys are very effective guards. A lot of the people that seem to have been rowdy or were about to be rowdy at some point are just, they just kind of turn to you every so often. You see, you kind of meet gazes as they kind of stop with their, like, their drunken stupor. Um, give me both the perception check. Man, we are complete buzzkills. <laughs> uh, blind or public? Shit. Uh, <laughs> well, too late now. It's gonna, it's gonna be blind. It's gonna be blind. All these are gonna be blind. You don't know how well you're looking. I pretend I do not see it. <laughs> Unless you want me to re-roll it. Yeah, just re-roll. Okay. I keep forgetting that I have to manually select that. Okay. Um, um, excuse me for one moment. I need to do something. Yep, you're good. Uh, but with those perception checks, you guys see nothing too out of the ordinary. Out of the people that seem to have or were about to make some ruckus or just stopped by your imposing figures. But other than that, what do you get? Um, Alisa, Irvon, what would you like to do? <clears throat> uh kind of generally keeping watch uh over Boglin at the moment if I do see him. Yeah. Make sure nothing happens to him as well as just uh just still generally 
pacing about and watching things as they go. Uh, give me one more perception check then for Oglin. <sighs> he seems normal. I wave if I see Mr. Spinney looking at me, and I just point at my apron. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I'm wearing! Give a smile and a nod towards <laughs> Boglin. <laughs> he does the whole thing where, like, he holds out, he grabs the bottoms of the apron and, like, holds it out, and he, like, swings himself left and right, like, am I pretty? <laughs> 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 yeah um right now uh he looks to be just fine no Are one's feeling like seduced <laughs> yeah no one seems to be minding that a goblin is waiting on him especially a stinky goblin a lot of these people are uh, seem to be already super drunk Just waiting for someone to be like oh my god the floorboard got up and started doing my table <laughs> <laughs> I'm mostly, I feel like it's, I'm mostly doing the cleanup and Gray is mostly doing the delivering of the food. I think, yeah, that's what ended up happening so far. Because yeah. I probably could not reach the tables unless I had a stool. Yeah, and then um, <laughs> you, you do also have other, you know, waiters kind of helping up. Yeah, true. Definitely yeah. have their own names and their own personalities yeah. and their own, you know, lives, all that. <laughs> the whole character is waiting they, to be explored. They, they Rayler their, literally, they Rayler their, literally sitting here going, "Come on, fight some stuff." <laughs> yeah, I definitely have that prepared. Wink. Um, but um, uh, back to Ray. Them all on the shins. Uh, <laughs> okay. Upon seeing that the door is unlocked, Gray will step inside. All right. Uh, and he'll your... make sure to cl silently close the door behind him. With the with your stealth check, no one noticed you. And then we never saw into the night. Again. Inside was an ancient red dragon. Ah! The, door, <laughs> the door is locked. <laughs> the entire fire. building just <laughs> explodes. <laughs> but no, as you open the door and kind of slink back in, you see a staircase kind of in an L shape with just one torch illuminating down towards the um towards the corner that's the only light source that you see on the right you see that it goes further down but you can't tell from what okay um if that's the case then i will take i mean i have low light vision but that won't really help me much if that's the only source of light. So I guess I will take a torch of my own and I will use that one source of light to ignite it. Okay. Oh, wow. You're really going in. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I came this far. Yeah. I might as well just see how far I can get before I need to book it. You see that the flight of stairs going down towards that the other end of the L shape is not super long, but it does take just a minor trek you see what looks to be a more extravagant door at the bottom okay um, and this one has the symbol of the osprey all over it oh boy <laughs> oh boy i'm really hoping i'm not taking on something that's above me at this point um can I hear anything coming through that door? Um, give me a perception check, blind. Okay. But though the sounds are a little muffled, you do hear talking at the very least, along with what you think might be music. Uh, hello. Sorry about that. Welcome back. Hi, right, welcome back. Uh, Irvon killed everyone. <laughs> And what, and and nice bloody walk. spree, and the guy had asked me if I wanted a napkin, and it just set me off. Ah. Uh, Gray uh, went down a L-shaped staircase and has now okay. seen a osprey endorned door. He he went to go to the back to get a jar and found a blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, also can clearly hear voices and music coming from the door. Um, 
I can't hear exactly what's being said, but I can tell that someone's there. What an auspicious <sighs> door. The thing is, though, is that I don't, I don't think this is some, I don't think I can continue on my own. I think this is something I might have to just report back to the group on. Um, so I think what I'll do is because I know that she's going to come back to stand by the door again soon. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make my way back, douse the flame of the, get rid of the torch. Where would you like, uh, where would you get rid of the torch in this very empty room? Would I? You could eat it. <laughs> Can I just put it back in my bag or something? Because <laughs> I think I have that. You could, but it's just you know a non-usable torch now. I mean that's fine. I don't care. Just as long as the trace of torch isn't there. Okay. I just don't want to leave a torch and show evidence that someone was there. Uh, All okay. right. Set the whole torch on fire and then just burn it out that way. All right. Heading back up. I want you to make one more stealth check. Uh, is this uh i'm assuming blind again yes okay oh god please please oh shit <laughs> oh boy oh no <clears throat> please did, did B-Dog As... find a pair of duck shoes on the way back up? <laughs> <laughs> As you open the door and slink back towards the, the normal crook's nook, you see your, the boss kind of almost walk back. She was looking straight at the ground. As she did not notice you opening the door, you are suspiciously in front of it, though. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> she will oh, say, she... Oh, did you uh, forget what the kitchen was? Yeah. I was looking for the bathroom. <laughs> uh, actually, I was looking for a bathroom. I really needed to go. Uh, which, is there a bathroom anywhere near here? A staff one, anyway. Uh, make, like... give me a deception check. Oh, oh boy! Shit. I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> if all else fails, piss yourself. <laughs> <laughs> With that deception check, you do not. You think you do not need to piss yourself. Oh thank <laughs> God! <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> As she goes, oh, eh, that makes more a um, good amount of sense. Uh, the bathroom's right over there. As she points over towards the other side of the uh, room. Thank you. I'm gonna. I'll do that, and I'll get right back to work. So sorry for the trouble. Mm -hmm. And yes. I immediately go to the bathroom. <laughs> All yourself, right. Anyway, I, I head straight to the. I head straight to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. You are now in this medieval bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Just as long as I'm there. It's basically just Evil a hole in the ground. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Um. So that's gonna be the eventful first hour. <sighs> It is now the second hour. Oh, Jesus, what would you I'm guys? So <laughs> what would you guys like to do? Oh, man. Would you guys can keep continuing working as normal, or you guys can do other things? Um, I will just next time I get the attention of the boss lady, I'll just mm -hmm. be like, eh, "Am I doing this right? I've just been cleaning the tables. Is that?" Is that good? She she basically goes, you know, kind of an unconventional, but if it gets, you know, less work for the people back there, I don't mind. I'll be like, all right, I'll keep doing my best. Oh, and I'll, I'll I, just I think, keep working like normal. <laughs> I think Gray's just going to return to work like normal. He's going to, but he's keeping in mind everything that he was able to find out and uh, is just going to wait for an opportunity where he can inform the whole group. All right. So uh, for Irvon and um, Anton, um, everything seems to be uh, in place. Your, your guys is just intimidating um, 
intimidating stature is just really good at this. But the almost um, most of the sound is broken as you hear a man with a very familiar voice go. <laughs> oh no! Ah, Crooks Knock, how you guys doing? As you see a lot of the people kind of turn around and go, Rajani! God. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> oh, it's, oh, Yinza y- Mara. Yeah, y- I didn't know you got two giant teddy bears out in the front now. <laughs> yeah, what's up, fucker? How you doing? <laughs> you see, you, you you can you can see that his um, you see like a tra- a trail of like alcohol kind of like down his lips as he goes, "Fuck you, say you f- giant ass fucking teddy bear." Oh man, how good to see you! How good it is to see you, fucker. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> you don't need to add that last word in it. Was <laughs> you not? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Maybe it's a little too direct. Maybe I should start my way up. Asshole, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's Irma, actually I'm looking for a fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll let you have your drink. Don't worry about me. You see, you see, um, Rajani. He's actually going to shove you into the wall. All right, I'd love to see him try. I want Ooh. you to give me, um, a fortitude save. All right, uh, blind. Uh, no, everyone can see this. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, oh, so that's, I mean, 14. that's, if you had that's a, not too bad. If you had yeah, a, I rolled really low, well, unfortunately. Uh, give me one quick sec. I need to look up something. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was not expecting you to just straight up just call him fucker. <laughs> I, I would like... I am <laughs> he will attempt a, that. he will attempt a athletics against that save. He's drunk. <laughs> He's drunk. He's got that drunk strength. <laughs> Why does he have a plus 10 to a... It's a base modifier? What the hell? He might be kind of, um... No. A big deal. A Was big he, deal. Is he actually just shredded and we just didn't notice He's him? He's very him? shredded. Because I wasn't aware that he was he's, shredded. I thought he was he's just He's pretty big. Like he's he's I thought he kinda, was like a mayoral type, but no, this guy no, sent it wrong. He's, he's he's remember, a pencil remember okay. he's gonna, he's the town blacksmith. Yeah, I was I was also gonna say like I feel like his portrait speaks that he would be a f- decently strong. Like yeah, that type of does. that type of character design is the type who would do blacksmithing or be a fighter in some okay. way, shape, or form. I, I, now I just can't get it out of my head that he's Senator Armstrong. <laughs> well, I was thinking too. I just want you. To he know shoves that. you <laughs> just really. Your shredded doesn't. Mean Senator Armstrong. Shredded and kind of an asshole. After, so after, you, after you say the word asshole, and he's, and he's in office. <laughs> after yeah, you say the word asshole, Senator He is totally Armstrong. <laughs> just without the cyborg ninja crew. <laughs> <laughs> he might have that. You don't know. Cyborg Ninja Crew. He is a blacksmith, so maybe he's building it up. Cyborg Ninja Crew is the sequel to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> but so what? Uh, what happens now? He seemed to have tried to shove you like more closer to the ground, but you kind of held your held your ground. But you are shoved very forcefully to the back and goes. <laughs> this fucking teddy bear is quite light. You sure yeah. you wanna? You sure you're hiring some of these folks? He points over towards that. He points over towards Boglin. He might be more their speed. <laughs> I think I'm as fast as them. <laughs> True, Boglin is quite fast. You see, um, uh, the the boss just kind of go, ah, Rajani, Rajani, Rajani. Well, just hurry up and go back there. Yeah, with fucking pleasure. <laughs> I try to stay out of his way. You see him just nonchalantly just walking down. You yeah, see, I just kind of shrug as he walks away. He sees Gray. He just gives him kind of a smirk as he just walks down towards the uh, back area now. Hmm. What do you guys do? I watch to see where he's going. 
I don't follow him. Uh, it is the boss about him. You see the um, you see the um, where he goes inside is looks to be the hidden, not so hidden room that you were just um exploring, Gray. Okay. And uh, Irvon, you said you were gonna ask the boss. Yeah, I was gonna talk to the boss for a moment and just uh, kind of lean in and say, "Ma'am, mm -hmm. is he always like that?" Especially when she when he's drunk, but. What does he? What 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 does he provide? What what does he even do here? What why is he even here? Well, I can't exactly tell you that. Just keep doing your work, and maybe, maybe I'll see. Well, if that's the case, then yes, ma'am, I will continue, and I promise not to rile anyone else up. Ah, uh, that got quite the kick out of me. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, glad we can find some entertainment in this evening. <laughs> and I will continue back to my post. All right. Uh, anyone else doing anything? Uh, no, just keeping watch. Seeing if, especially on that one guy who was pickpocketing. Uh, that guy who was pickpocketing has left a while back. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Um, if the if you guys don't choose to do anything else, the last hour will go by. I need all four of you to make perception checks. Blind. All right. Everyone but Anton, you are now all missing a silver piece. Dang. Even um, with me like being yes. on guard against that. Ah. Uh... Yes, I'll I'll let you know you rolled a seven. Oh boy! Even with the Is, um, I the only circumstance. one who rolled high, or was it because I don't have you rolled to? high? Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> um, at the end of the day, though, or at the end of this two hours, the boss will um grab you guys from your station. Uh, make sure you mark this time, by the way. Um, so it was two hours, right? That yep. we spent working here. Okay. Yeah. So, so we're, we're around what, 9 30 30 now? now? Uh it's 10 p.m. Yeah. 10 okay. Uh what do you call it? The boss will now walk up to you guys. He goes, well, thank you guys for your work. Um, you too. Um, she motions over at Gray and Boglin. Brings you guys back to the back that you guys are now quite familiar with. Show me how much you got. She wanted you guys to rob the patrons. Yeah. <laughs> I well, wouldn't just have... take money out of our own pockets. You could. Say, yeah. That would make a deception check. Well, yeah, that, that would be for Gray and Boglin, though. Not yeah, for... but Boglin's <laughs> just confused. He's like, ah, I, I brought the stuff that I was grabbing back to the kitchen. I yes. didn't keep any of the dishes. Yes. I'm glad you didn't keep any of the dishes. Now, how much money did you guys get? Uh, nobody gave me any money. <laughs> she looks over at Gray. I will... Hmm. You can try to trick her with your own money. That's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm just trying to figure out how much money I want to use. Because uh, I'm assuming she would collect the money. You don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess I wouldn't know. <laughs> She'll be uh, like, that's whatever that's you meant. think is happening is... I mean, that's screw it. Yeah. I can't really get anything with it anyways. Uh, I will hold out... Uh, three bronze, three silver, and a gold piece. Okay. Um, I want you to uh, roll me that deception check. Blind. Uh, when I see that, I'll just be like, Oh man, I should have brought food! I didn't know we could get paid! <laughs> <laughs> With that deception check, she did... So, 
the way that you did it, she did see that you did grab it out of your own coin purse. Mm -hmm. Um, so it wasn't very sneaky. And she just goes, hmm. Well, at least you tried. I know that's your money. And you know, I, I respect that. Apologies, I, uh... I seem to have failed to clue in to exactly what it was you were asking of us when you brought us back there. So, that's that's my fault. Oh, well, you had some spunk. I... My friends are a, a bit more, like... Are you are not here. In their duties. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna try and, like, you. Are in the, you. They are in the back room. I mean, it's not like she's, like, incredibly mad at me or anything. Mm -hmm. So, it's all good. It wasn't that. I was gonna try and make you more, like, favorable. Alright, uh... In case of, like, future times. Alright, um, but she's going to just say, Uh, you two, just make sure you stay back here for a little bit. Let me talk to your friends. Okay. She goes up right. back towards the front where, um, Iran and Anton were waiting. You too. I appreciate your guys' work. And I am glad to have uh, seen that nothing bad happened under your watch. And yeah. sorry, I'm not able to really pay you at this time. But I can offer you and your friends a room. Hmm. That sounds uh, kind of decent, actually. Yes, and uh, mind... Um, big fella right there. Uh, come to the back room with me. Yes, ma'am. She brings over Irvon to where, um, Boglin and, uh, Grey were, um, waiting at. So I'm alone. You are currently alone until... Goblin, no offense, but please leave. Alright. At least head over to your friend. Oh, I have God. given you guys a room. I'll kind of skip over there. Thanks! Good work, Bogla. And I'll just kind of like smile at Mr. Spinny and head over to where Anton is. <clears throat> um, as the boss lady will also just say, well, thank you for the work at least. Mm -hmm. Now you two. You're a little bit more interesting than your friends. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone try to stand up to Rajani in a while. Uh, people like him, well, they deserve it. As I'm sure. And you? <laughs> you didn't think I didn't see you go in the back room, did you? <laughs> oh. I <laughs> oh. <sighs> see. I had a feeling that was gonna be the case. I was like, I have a feeling like I'm still gonna get caught, even if I do this. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You're so close, but that bathroom trick didn't really work for me. <laughs> but you at least tried. And you yeah, tried to fair. even fool me with your own money. And, you know, I will reward that. You guys are allowed in the back room. Your friends, though? Sorry, they just don't make the cut. Should we tell them to then just go on ahead without us? Uh, you could. Uh. Hmm. I don't know, Irvon. What what should we tell the others then? Because, I uh, mean, clearly just, this is something we can't just openly share with them. Well, we'll just tell them to wait in the room and that the boss wanted to see us for some... Extra chat? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> or uh, some extra work. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I guess. I guess what uh, I'll what Gray will do is he'll um, he will tell Anton and Boglin to go ahead and go uh, chill out in the yeah, hang out in, in the, the room, room um, yeah. as the boss wants to discuss with us about maybe some. Uh, some about future some future work mm -hmm. that we can do for them. 
All right. All right. Um, you guys, um, at least for Anton and um, Boglin, you guys, once you guys get to the room, it's actually somewhat lavish. A lot better than the uh, the one over at the Rowdy Rockfish. It's pretty well maintained and has a pretty decent sized uh, couple beds. Well, Boglin, I don't know about you, but I guess we'll sleep until then. Yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna be pretty busy. Meanwhile, uh, the other two, as she gestures for you guys to follow her, Gray, you've already seen this L-shaped um, staircase. Mm -hmm. As she gets to the uh, the door um, adorned with an osprey, she turns to you guys and says, Welcome to the Osprey Club. As she opens the door, inside, you hear the sound of basically very fancy music just start filling the air. As hmm. you see a couple of what looks to be a band back there just playing their music. While the uh, while most of the patrons look a lot nicer than the ones from upstairs, the big patron that you guys know and you see that his table is somewhat filled with people is Carmen Rajani, as he looks to be having a drink with a lot of interesting types of people. I was kind of <laughs> hoping you were going to say she opens the door and it's just a bunch of actual Ospreys. <laughs> it's like an aviary or something. This is where we keep our birds. It's like, ah, oh, she's crazy. <laughs> she runs a bird cage, an underground bird cage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it, it's oh my god, it's basically like a chicken fight. Yeah. <laughs> Ring. <laughs> underground cockfights. Oh, dear Lord. And sh before she lets you guys go and do whatever you want in the building, she goes, just make sure you don't tell anyone else. My lips are sealed, ma'am. You got it. Secret safe with me. You guys do see there's a couple of open tables. Um, It's not as busy as it was up there for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. But the staff here are a lot more let's say scary they seem to be a lot more on guard than you know the staff that looks like they were getting paid pennies upstairs this is definitely a more uh what word like a more definitive establishment yes <clears throat> um i guess gray would just quickly ask her before i guess going to go sit down or something and just be like what is this club about? Ah, the Osprey Club. We've been here for a while. So you can say that we're possibly the heart of Otari. <laughs> he kind of gets. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. So well, then. Huh. Mind you, we. We do not partake in stealing from the people that have nothing. But, you know, cash flows and, you know, it needs a place to go. Right. Okay. Uh, well then, Irvon, shall we go and find a seat? Yeah, let's uh, mingle, I guess. Or at least try to mingle. When you guys find the seat, the waiter basically instantaneously just shows up and goes, What would you guys like? Oh, uh, fast. Uh, uh, we're, we're actually, uh, new. What do you have? He'll start naming the most extravagant dishes that I definitely have in mind. Are any of them under a gold or at least? They one are gold? all at least one gold. Okay. Uh, I guess I can order like. <laughs> I, well, I mean, I have one gold. <laughs> still have, I also have a gold still, so. So I guess we'll both just like order a one gold meal or something. Yeah. You got um. 
they just recommend the uh, the special, which is basically a very fancy um, fish dish. Okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll order with that. one. Yeah, with one gold, you guys are able to share it because it's rather huge. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, one singular gold. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess Irvon, you'll cover that, or should I? I will. I will mark down a missing gold. Okay. And while you guys are partaking in this good meal, on the corner of your eye, Irvon, you see Rajani just staring you daggers every so often until he gets distracted by one of his cohorts. I'm like, if if he does keep staring at me, I'll just kind of grin a little bit, but otherwise just kind of not even really pay him any attention. Yeah. Because I'm not down here to cause shit. <laughs> please, mm-hmm. please tell me that the grin that you make is like when a dog tries to grin, when it's like... <laughs> just- when it's like the snarling face, but it's actually a smile. <laughs> I mean, I am basically part hyena being a knoll, so yeah, kind of, it, it probably kind of <laughs> acts just like that in general. <laughs> like you just show it off your I teeth. Have, I have an image for that. Oh, um, like those weird Photoshop dog teeth that they put on the, the dog treat bags, the dental treats. Yeah. Oh, God. Hold up. Hold up. I got it. Like that AI that. site that automatically right. puts like clean white teeth. Does this what yeah. you look like? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Such a cute smile. But since you guys uh, <laughs> spent. Picture back look? Since you guys spent mm-hmm. some. Uh, this is your first time having this meal. Um. I am actually granting you guys a plus one to your fortitude saves, as this meal was very hearty and filling for 24 hours. Oh, neat. So this would basically last us till the night of tomorrow. Yes. Cool. So just make sure you guys mark that, because I will definitely remember. How do so I it's do 10 that? PM, so. in, the, in the main... Um, in the main character page for Pathfinder on that left hand bracket with all the saves initiative and stuff. Yeah. You could uh, even um, modifiers underneath fortitude and you can add a plus one temporary modifier. Yep. You could do that. Or you I think you make a note uh, yeah. for how long it lasts. Yeah. yeah. You either do that or you could even whenever you do fortitude save, I think it gives you circumstance bonus. Oh. Yeah. You could just keep doing that. But either way. Um, okay. With uh, that, though. Yeah. It definitely doesn't let me. I'm clicking modifiers, but it won't, and it won't open anything. So, I think I'm yeah. locked out of that. But I'll just keep a mental note. Yep. So, um, with that, you guys had a pretty good meal. Um, nothing else really strikes your fancy, other than you know this place being rather fancy. Um, I did want to say that while we were having our meal, um. I was wondering if I could possibly try to overhear anything happening over in Rajani's space. Um, give me a perception check. And you can have this. You, you, it doesn't have to be blind. Because if you could hear, then most people will hear. Okay. 18. Hey. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, they're not being, they're honestly being somewhat loud compared to the rest of the patrons. Rajani just talking to the people around him and he goes, uh, <laughs> at least the, the festival's tomorrow and that's going to be fucking exciting. You know, I, I'm glad that I can at least count on your guys' votes. As you see, some of the people look a little uncomfortable <laughs> after you say that. <laughs> <laughs> but he's basically drunk on his mind and he feels like a king. Okay. And once I'm mayor again, or once I'm mayor, uh, things will change in this town. It'll finally have its full potential, and I'll finally get my sword back. <laughs> A lot of the uh, people just are kind of going, "Yeah, woohoo, Rashani." <laughs> yeah. Some of them, some of them are just kind of drunkly just. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. but that's that's the crux of what you over here. Okay. Hmm, interesting. You guys can be down here for just roughly thirty minutes if you just were gonna eat the meal and over here. Uh, 
Is there like anyone else in this club that stands out or is it literally just Rajani? At the moment, it is just Rajani. The others patrons just seem to be kind of keeping to themselves and don't seem mm. to really like pay you guys much mind. Okay. Is Rajani still looking to antagonize me? Uh, at the moment, he looks very drunk and at the moment, he's like not even keeping his eyes open <laughs> at this point. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, if I could hear that, so could Ergon. So, yeah, um, I'm going to whisper, whisper to Gray. What was that about a sword? I don't know. It, I obviously I'm whispering back and I'm saying like, I don't know. I imagine maybe whoever's mayor gets to have a specific sword. <clears throat> and I guess it was it used to be a Rajani's. I wonder if it was in his family's lineage and it's a part of the town wait oh. a minute <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait right. we... hmm? what where wait no maybe, maybe not that that would be assuming a lot never mind no share it well like if he had the sword at some point, or the sword was just his for whatever reason, and then he lost it, but he'd get it back as mayor. Uh huh. I wonder if that sword has actually got any significance, considering the symbols that we found, and now we're here in the Osprey Club. He's a part of the Osprey Club, I guess. Hmm. I mean, it's very possible if it's under the thing of mayor, we're going to see him tomorrow in the morning. So we couldn't just ask. We should ask him about Rajani's sword. Oh, man. Wouldn't it be so funny if Rajani saw me with his sword? <laughs> <laughs> I think I it would be. I whatever God is listening that this happens and I get that moment. <laughs> God contemplates. Gray kind of just chuckles to himself a little bit and goes, that would definitely be a, a show to watch. I don't even care if he punches me out. That motherfucker is going to get something hilarious. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Uh, well, how about we wrap up for the night and go reconvene with the others? Yeah, unfortunately, it didn't look like we were getting much outside of here. The food yeah. was good, though. Yeah, that was actually a fantastic meal. It's kind of a shame they couldn't uh actually wait. Uh by this point did we like eat the entire meal or yes. is it like any Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm assuming they probably wouldn't let us take anything out of here anyway. Just I mean, <laughs> there's no to-go boxes, no. I yeah. mean, to be fair, we found some of I'm assuming this was the same salmon food that it was, uh, but it wasn't the same type that you ordered. Uh, the one that was ordered was from the top, from the like, the front hair. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, wait, that still means that someone who frequents here has some connection to something happening at the lighthouse, right? Possibly. It's very and, possible. Well, then you know what? When we get back to the room, I have I have a theory to go over. Okay, we'll talk about it with the others. Did, I, I, I we... just realized something that that maybe. I could have done while we were waiting, by the way. Um, what? We, you might still have the time. What are you planning? I was planning on actually looking into the room to see if there was any spots that could be, like, peer into the room. That could peer into the room? Oh, into to make room. sure that you can't be spied on in that room? Yeah, I can't be spied on. Uh, yeah. I mean, give me a perception check. Okay. I mean, to be fair, that it, this is quite the sh shady vibe that we had been getting, and to just suddenly be given a room, despite our quality of work. I mean, we weren't <laughs> given, like, we no one was actually any... paid, so... Yeah, we weren't actually paid, we were just... Yeah. And especially um... for us, who were just being bodyguards, I, I don't think, uh... I don't know. I figure it was one of those, if she didn't want us around, she would have already gotten rid of us kind of things. Um, as you look around, um, Anton, you notice nothing of the sort. The room is rather well put together. Okay. 
I didn't want to, like, move a, a painting and then see if there was, like, an eye hole. <laughs> the painting has obvious eye holes. It's like Scooby-Doo where the fucking painting just starts looking at you. <laughs> There's a whole the, entire the, person just sitting in the wall back there. The painting is of the boss lady. And her <laughs> eye, she looks exactly <laughs> like this. Now, the reason why I didn't, I, I didn't notice if there was a, a thing or not is because the boss lady was hiding behind the painting of the boss lady. But <laughs> <laughs> and it does, like, the Scooby-Doo thing where you see, like, the eyes follow you. <laughs> yeah. You pick um, it up, look back. Nope, I don't see anything weird, Boglin. Puts the painting back. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there shaking, like, ah! <laughs> Uh, all right. Now it's not the time then... to be thinking about food. All right, and then uh, Gray and uh, Irvon, uh, you guys should be able to now double click the lady. You have access to this store. I also have access. Oh, I know. Whoa. Uh, you, whoa. Or is it, it different? You guys all have access, but you know, oh. just in general. <laughs> oh. Like if you want to buy something from her, you know. Ooh, that's Dang, uh, that so is a pricey market. <laughs> Dear Lord. Yeah, we that can't really a... afford anything in town. <laughs> nope. Yo, we are grave root. We can... tomorrow. We can give that to the guy in Elden Ring with the grave root. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Yes. Wow, okay. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, Gray and Irvon are going to retire and head to the room. Okay. Um, you guys are able to head to the room. You know exactly where it is. Your two friends are look to be basically ready to sleep. Hello. Hey, hey. Do I smell like fancy food on them? <laughs> um, yes, it's very obvious. There's actually still like a there's actually still like sauce on like one of their uh, <laughs> under armor. <laughs> <laughs> What, what are you guys doing? Uh, Why does it smell like fancy food? Well, the long and short of it is, um, wait, yeah, we. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't, I don't the long and short of it is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's I, a I, secret I, restaurant. I, 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 <laughs> don't worry about that. But there's I, a but, there's a second restaurant underneath everything, right? Oh my god. Uh, we haven't even said anything. We're in a double decker restaurant. We can't confirm or Shut deny. Up. And Is in such a thing possible? <laughs> Guys, please just, Shut up. just let us finish. We can listen, and I say in a quiet voice, we can talk about it tomorrow, not while we're here. Okay. Just trust me on this. I don't want to. I don't feel safe talking about it here. Alright. <sighs> I wasn't actually like the whole thing, yeah. but I was excited. <laughs> double decker restaurant. <laughs> Maybe I they serve love, double decker sandwiches. I just love how like all Irvon said was, well you see, and you just went There's a second restaurant <laughs> I mean if I could clearly so smell the food, the that is out. where my train of thought goes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it was just funny. But like without <laughs> any form of information, you just immediately deciphered what it was. <laughs> um but yeah, uh I think we just aim to call it a night and we will discuss our plans in the morning. Okay. Um unless anyone else has objections. Yeah. No. No, we should sleep. So they spent about half an hour down there. Yes. Okay. So it aside is... from that one time where I was searching, I, I didn't really find anything. I went back to sleep, more than likely. So it is ten thirty then, uh, when they get back up here. Uh, yes. Damn. Um, by around eleven, you hear a knock at the door. Uh, I guess Gray goes to answer it. Um, when, when you open the door, you see the blo the boss lady. Now you guys now know as uh, Yinzi Esmera. Let me type that in for you. These people, you know, had to have weird names. <laughs> I like that her token is called Graceful Crooksnook. <laughs> yeah, I, I love this. The is her real token. Here's her real token. Oh. This is 
because that's just a shop. But, you know, just in case. <laughs> in case we have to fight. In case you, you know, you wanted to murder or something. I mean, it's a possibility. She has a plus 17,000 <laughs> right. and, and, and damage. Raylan, your desire for us to murder her is really showing. <laughs> you, can, you can murder this whole town if you'd like. I mean, it doesn't sound like we'd get very far, depending on who it is. We just got to come back in a few levels. Yeah. Yeah. We'll come back at level 10 and go, hey, remember us? Remember me? <laughs> What's up, fucker? Like, remember me, asshole? You aggroed me when I was level 2. <laughs> when I, I was level 2. See me. <laughs> we'll be like that guy that attacked Arnold Schwarzenegger at a basketball game. We literally just come out of nowhere and just drop kick Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> that, but yes, the the uh, boss lady named Ian Yasmera is now at the door as she goes, do you guys have a moment? Uh, me and Irvon? Yeah. Yeah. Just sure. every, everyone. everyone. Oh, okay. Sure. And open Seems the door important. and let her in. Well, sorry for uh, bothering you at this time, but I heard down the grapevine you guys are looking into that old lighthouse. That could be and a thing that we've been doing, maybe. What's, uh, what's it to you? Well, you see, I'm missing some employees. And the last time I remember where they went was maybe towards that lighthouse. Well, then let me ask you this. When did those employees start to be started to dis uh when did they start did, when did you start to notice that they were missing? Uh, around a week ago. Hmm. They haven't come back. And if you guys are heading towards that direction, I wouldn't mind the uh, information at the very least. These employees, uh, can we have some information on them? What, like, what race were they? What, what... All humans. All humans? And, uh... I can't exactly tell you guys what they were up to, but I know they might have gone that direction. Oh, so, uh, something to look after because we have no clue what they had looked like. They all have the, uh, the symbol of an osprey on them. I'll say that. Well then, uh, um, real quick, out of character, did we did we find someone that had a symbol of osprey? Because I. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure we did find a person with that symbol on him, right? I think it was the the oh, body we found in the cathedral. The burned one. Yeah, the, the altar room. Yeah. With but the if there's skeletons. multiple, then that means we could potentially find more, unless all those skeletons are the rest of them. Um, they did not look like it. They were they looked a lot older. Oh, okay. Um It's like well, uh we can at least confirm the fate of one of them. Oh, um, as for the rest, individual. as for the rest, uh, unfortunately, we have yet to find anything. No. Well, I'm going to guess one of them has passed. Unfortunately, okay. yes. And <sighs> it's technically... Uh, I mean, you already know, so uh, it's what basically sparked my curiosity with the door in the first place was that's because we we saw the symbol that's fair so well i apologize for being no nosy <laughs> no no problem that's kind of our business um what do you know about the lighthouse personally for me nothing that's kind of what we were looking into at least uh, that's what my employees are looking into so then, do you believe the rumor that the lighthouse could cause destruction and things and potentially no. destroy this town? Not really. That's a lot of hearsay. And I know that lighthouse has been there for 500 years, but... You know, I don't think any anything is really coming out of it. A couple of mitflits before they used to house kobolds. I'm sure they've already ransacked the place by now, but you never know. Could I? There was a name we came across while we were there. Now, so far, everyone I've asked in this town has no recollection of this name. But I'm going to mention it just in case it might ring a bell. Sure. 
did you ever have a staff member named Volick as Renee? Uh, actually, I had a staff member named Volick Bazinre, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I assume, man. I <laughs> see it now. I can't. <laughs> Okay, out of character, really. I can't tell if you're joking with me or if that's genuinely what she was the name she was given. From that's genuinely person. the name. <laughs> I wish I knew what he looked like so I could be like, look like this, maybe. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that's so annoying. Uh, Wait, how, oh, hold up. Sorry. I just noticed in my inventory, I have four healing potions. Where did those even come from? Oh, I was just preparing that for. Uh... I was just preparing that for the morning. Okay, because I'm like, mayor, wait, what? <laughs> Thanks yeah. for spoiling what we're getting in the morning, Tater. Sorry, I just looked and I'm like, why am I encumbered? What the heck? <laughs> Those potions made him encumbered. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I can't carry a lot, you guys. Okay. Uh, Sorry. Did he... Hmm. See, now I don't really know. Uh, it's like, did you know anything about your <laughs> bollock guy um not really i just hired him and he's a rather clumsy fella but he gets the job done okay um <clears throat> i assume i i i basically ask her i assume you wouldn't know about any of these books would you and then i kind of just like list off what you know, the three titles that we found, What the Worm Knows, Grey Feast, Secrets of the Skull. No recollection, honestly. But... Okay. We we still have some spots left. We we still have one area left in the house uh near the lighthouse that we need to investigate. Um and hopefully we can find some answers. Um but as of right now, we, besides the the one staff member, we are not able to confirm the fates of the others. Hmm. Well, if you ever find them, then you'll have our, our full support. We'll be sure to update you if we manage to find anything. Well, I'd best let you guys have a good night. Thank you. You have a good night as well. You too. As she walks away. What do you guys do now? Uh, What to do now? I mean, we can't really do much right now. It's... I guess just try to get some sleep and then be ready to go in the morning. When I... Is the room that we're in, like, on the same floor as all the doors in the building? Uh, yes. Or... Okay, um, does it look like she goes into the door down to the Osprey Club? Yes. Hmm. <sighs> I'm half tempted to follow her. <laughs> she is single. <laughs> that's, that's not what I was thinking, <laughs> but... Uh, you know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna, <laughs> Chris just gonna call it a night. He he know? needs to be. We our characters need to be up early in the morning, and the last thing <laughs> I need is the last thing we need is for any of us to be fatigued. All right. So with that, <laughs> with that piece of information, it'll now be uh, morning. With the info that she's single. <laughs> Yes, I'm tempted to follow <laughs> her because maybe I can get some information. She is single. That's not what I was. Okay, sure. <laughs> the information I, I was looking for was those digits. So uh... <laughs> <laughs> those medieval <laughs> digits out of her pocket. <laughs> you, you, pull... <laughs> you get her, her si hands out of her pockets. There you, you go. Just... All my digits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were just trying to get her her, her fucking um, sending her stone count. number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, also, what's your sending stone number? Is it one zero? <laughs> <laughs> it's, tw it's actually twenty three. Thank you very much. <laughs> Busy phone line. But um, now that um, Tater ruined the surprise of what you guys were getting. <laughs> My bad. 
that is basically what's going to happen at the market. Would you guys like to just go to the place now? Yes. Yeah, so what time would we be able to wake up if we went to bed at 10.30? Uh, at that little thing. Um, It would be about 6.30. Okay. And then um, walking there, I'd say just mark it at 7 a.m. Okay. Uh, you guys know that the that the um, festival will start at 6 p.m. So there's like have- there's like a pre festival, but that's really just for, you know, hanging out and about the 6 p.m. is the real festival. OK. Um, all right. Um, then I. Uh, oh, right. Uh, and was the the mayor there in the morning? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, me and Irvon, uh, I'm a, uh, unless I'm well, assuming I, you, I, you've shared this Irvon, with everybody. Irvon, Irvon was going to ask the mayor about Rajani's sword. Yeah, and also, and also, while we were out in the town, we shared with Anton and Irvon uh, and uh, Boglin about what we learned. Just okay. Discreetly, but yeah. Okay, he'll um, he'll like the information, but with the um, with the sword. He'll just say, oh, that's the, uh, he's probably talking about the cooperative blade. That's over at, uh, that's actually on display right now at the library. And, but he said it was once his. It was actually Volrajani's blade, indeed. And how did he come about losing it, then? That's a rather long story, if you have the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we have the time? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, he also does I, not have the time. Then I will not ask about the story. I will... If he has a way to give me, like, a very brief Cliff, summary of it, maybe? Cliff, but Cliff if, Notes version. This is the second time the, the town was founded. The and, second time? And the, um, the first time was when the artifacts were lost. Is the Cliff okay. Notes TLDR um, Spark Notes version? <laughs> so I, I would have to assume that that sword's probably magical in some way. I'm guessing. Hell yes. <laughs> Which means if it, Lord, would that it, it would be a look- long shot to ask to borrow the sword for when we go to the lighthouse. Yes, very. <laughs> would it be a long shot to ask in for information whether or not that actually ties? into the lighthouse or not they have no clue i think that's something where if if we want a connection we'll have to find it you're gonna have to find it yes so and i feel like the only way we'll do that is in that downstairs (laughs) it's the only other place we have left to look i will i will ask the mayor if he would allow us to take the sword for the day he said at least ask he basically just gives you a firm no that's used right. in the festival more than likely anyways. Who knows? Okay. I feel like that blade is somehow connected to this. Oh, it probably is, but until we have evidence, it, it, that's the unfortunate thing, is we're in this situation where no we, one's willing to help us unless we have solid evidence of anything. So all we can do is go and get that evidence, hope we get it in time so that we can actually do something about it. All right. Well, I I guess we should head over to the lighthouse then and go to that. To the downstairs of that building. Yep. All right. Make sure you guys uh, heal yourselves up. Yep. That's what I made sure to do as soon as we transition today. (laughs) Oh, boy. Get to have three spell slots now. Congratulations. You are now actually level two. Hey. 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 All right. Also, um, did just me get the potions? Because I'll distribute them. Uh, just yeah, I was gonna distribute them from your. Okay, yeah. So I'd give, uh, make it so we each have one then. Um, I technically got a, a spell slot back, but I mean, yes, you... obvious. I'm just gonna put on mage armor. Okay, just make so... sure you uh, put it on yourself when when I transition the map. Yep. Can do. Let me just uh. Distribute these uh 
healing potions real quick. All right. Uh, also, I would ask, uh, Mr. Spinny, but, I've been carrying this ladder around and it's pretty heavy. Do you think you could put it in your bag or whatever? Of course, Boglin. Anything for you, old buddy. Oh, you're just the greatest, Mr. Spinny. And I will... Death flag. <laughs> <laughs> I will... Oh, whoops, I put that in. Uh... I'll pass over this folding ladder. <laughs> I just realized, actually, that is definitely a death flag. <laughs> purely just because of the fact that, like, in the two 5e campaigns that we've done with you, Raylan... Half our group are of the people that died in those campaigns. <laughs> you're you're not wrong. Andrew died as Barnaby, and Tater died twice <laughs> in Minds of Fat Delver. <laughs> and you died once. Yes, that's true. I did die once. No, three out of four of us <laughs> You hear, you hear that, Josh? <laughs> I, I, the best thing is, I retired. I didn't die. <laughs> Don't yeah, worry. Re but that's just it. He just means that you're next. <laughs> <laughs> and Praline, yeah, she does that PTSD had that. Stuff. I almost had that when the fucking <laughs> fucking goddamn puppet tried to suck my my soul out of my dick. Uh, do you want to add the, or how do I add the folding ladder to my inventory? Here? I don't know if you're able to like drag it from. Uh, I, I'll, uh, I'll do it for you guys. Let me just. That, but but see, that's the secret, Briegel. You almost died, which means you still don't qualify because you have yet to die. <laughs> yeah, well, it's he... it's gonna be a while. Go. Uh, he's there like the Bulma or like the Chi Chi of our Dragon Ball group. Basically, everybody's died but him. <laughs> Except for when Boo blew up the planet. <laughs> yeah, like that's pretty much the only technicality there. But all right, yeah, no, that's about where it's at. Well, Other than that, so what you're saying is the planet's right, gonna right. explode in this campaign. <laughs> yeah, Damn it! Why'd you germa. spoil it? <laughs> cue the the Germo rats movie planet exploding. Just random UFO appears for no reason. <laughs> all right. Other than that, which. <laughs> Downstairs, are you guys going to? You remember you have two options. Yeah, because there was a secret downstairs that we found, and then the downstairs downstairs that we were already with. Um, I think it was that we were planning on investigating the secret one, right? Yeah. Yes. So let's go investigate the secret one first. So not the not the one with the worm. Yeah, not the one with the worm, <laughs> as far as we as know. As much as we can. It's all connected, probably, so we're, we're likely going to see that worm. Yeah, we expect but, to loop around somehow, but we'd like to check the secret one first, just because it's, well, it's a secret passage. So. All right. We have powered up, which means that worm is going down. <laughs> I do not want to make that assumption. All that right. Thing's cool, uh, but I'm still down in one shot. Um, <laughs> I'm going to guess that um, Boglin's still holding the torch, or now holding a torch. Yeah, if sure. somebody gave me a torch, because I don't have any. I'll uh, give you I a torch. I will say, though, that if I do use my great club, I can't use a torch, because my great club is two-handed. Yep, my shield is two-handed as well, so I can't hold one. And then, um, uh, and Gray needs a hand for spells. Yeah, I'll free hold hand for spells. I don't. I just need yeah. one hand for. I'll I'll give Boglin one of my torches. Okay. You're holding this together. <laughs> just make sure you're. Uh, and you're the glue that holds this party together. The old, the only guy with dark vision cannot use <laughs> yeah. the dark vision. Uh, and don't worry, I've been subtracting torches every time I choose to use one. Okay. Cool. Cool. So we're good. All right, uh, upon descending downstairs, this is around 7 a.m. You see the uh, dark corridor. 20 after we have yeah. our travel time, I assume. Uh, no, I, I included the travel time. Oh, so I thought the I thought the other time was for going to the mayor. No, no, no I just he said, oh, okay. he said 7 a.m. for us to do what we need to do in town and get to the oh okay mm -hmm. I missed area. That. Okay, yeah. Yep. So right now, 7 a.m. You guys have a good. Uh, what is it? 11 hours until the festival uh sorry was this where we came from yes that is okay. where you came from it... just wanted to get my bearings all right but this area looks to be looks to house three plain wooden chairs that sail along the east side of the wall of this otherwise empty room it is really dark okay all right. Uh, I guess we should get into our formation as we for traversing this place. 
I probably have to go second then, don't I? Yeah, you will. Uh... Be in the middle. But that's okay. As long as you're not directly in the front, Boglin, you won't be the first to get attacked. Yay! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> very, very, like... Props to Tater for being able to do like a high pitched goblin voice and also still be able to lower his voice to sound like he's filled <laughs> with dread. <laughs> that was incredible. Very uh, good. <laughs> also, um, uh, Irvon, before I forget, um, when um, you shouldn't have a hero point, but I will give you a hero point for standing up to Rajani. <laughs> nice. All right, I got my hero point back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> before, and, uh, before I forget. Yeah. Um, All right. Just ignore else? the the mage armor appearing on the screen because I'm just gonna cast that. Pay no attention to the mage behind the armor. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. At least now my AC is a little bit cl is at least the same as Anton. All right. Um. Who wants to be the one taking the lead, then? I shall be that guy. Yeah, I'll be second in line. All right. Uh, I was going second because of the okay. torch. Okay, then I will be behind you. Okay, then I guess I'll take up the rear. And, uh, Irvon, that's the way we came from. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like to think that was oh, <laughs> Irvon, I'm going to take the lead. Follow me. Go and Goes leave back the building. <laughs> Follow me right on out of here, you guys. We're not dealing with this. <laughs> Let's go home. Dummy. He's an asshole. <laughs> but do you guys also do anything in this room, by the way? Uh, You know what? I'll, I'll, t I'll take a look around just to investigate it. Yeah. Uh, with a quick look around, you see the, the three chairs. The one of the chairs leaning against the wall is slightly ajar. Oh. Uh. I would like to investigate that. As you investigate it, you see what looks to be a door. Kind of nearly hidden, if it wasn't for the age. There's another hidden door in here already. Oh my god boy uh there's also a door over here stop hey. it we have a hidden door, door. <laughs> oh, so hidden door uh do you guys want to go check this door first or wait did you already open the door no you we, could, we you... found that we found a hidden door to the to the east of the room yeah but did that one get opened it's Whatever. slightly ajar okay I guess if that one's already open. That way we don't alert whatever on the other side of this door. Okay. Uh, then I shall <laughs> allow Irvon to take the lead. We'll, we'll shuffle around. <laughs> All right. Change places. Okay, so I am I will step through. And I will look around for a moment and... It looks or... like I just see more Irvine. doors. Irvon, let me uh, read this out for you. This long, 10-foot wide hallway has a vaulted ceiling arching to a dozen feet high. Three broken metal brackets hang from the ceiling. One to the south, one to the north, and one in the middle. Although what the frames once held is unclear, the floor is strewn with pieces of rotten wood and twisted metal. To the north, a pale green light shimmers around a closed door frame. So you can see that even all the way from here. Okay, so there's a lot of there's a lot of dilapidated looking doors. Yes. All right, uh, I will step through and motion for the rest of us to follow. Okay. And Don, after you. Okay, I'm just gonna move place here. got <laughs> bigger. Holy shit, that's a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, how thorough are we trying to be here? Uh, I mean, we only have today and all day, so uh, I think we should try to be as thorough as we can. Yeah. 
All right, uh, I will walk up to the first door that we meet, and I will check to see if it's locked. Um, as you check that door, it doesn't seem to be locked. Does it seem to open when I push on it? Um, yes, give me one quick sec. Uh, just for the record, I want to have my sword drawn. Yep, I'm assuming that you guys have your weapons drawn. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> That's pretty sure those are perception checks. <laughs> or traps. Um, For some weird reason, because somehow all of you failed, but Anton, <laughs> you, um, well, before you're entering this room, you hear the sound of metal cl uh, clanking and wood splintering. Oh my god, the walls are closing in on us. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Please. Um, I heard a scary sound. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was just the pause of sleep before you did that. <laughs> it's the most delayed, like, freak out. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, the walls are closing in on us. Silence for like 30 seconds. Ah! <laughs> I was waiting to see if anybody else was going to say anything. <laughs> I, was, I, I just sat there like, uh, how do we. Do we go in here? I mean, we. I guess we can. What really? about the. Our, I'm assuming because we're all in this hallway, we can see the same thing you described to Irvon? Yes. Uh. Which door is the door with the glow that you mentioned? All the way to the north. Do we want to go so, all the way to the north? Whoop, whoop, sorry. You're just going to open the door? To, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to you just it. open it. 30 feet away. <laughs> do we, do we want to start with the glowy door? Yeah. All right. I think so. Because it's right. reminiscent of the color of the light in the lighthouse. I'm, I'm it is not. To catch up before I keep moving. It is green. Oh, it's, no, it's green, not blue. Oh, for some reason I thought the lighthouse was green. Whoops, a daisy. I mean, it's still probably good of us to know what that glow is. Dude, there's doors every. Oh my god! So I know where we're at. <laughs> These are mimic doors. <laughs> I... <laughs> what does all the Ocarina of Time door mimic? Oh yeah. My god. <laughs> what? They would just slam down on you. Yeah. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. And here we thought we'd explored like every inch of this place, and it's like, oh no, there's like an entire like, <laughs> feeling this fortress door worth of rooms here. underground. I think this leads back to the main room from where the worm is. I think this loops around. That's my guess. Oh, uh, probably there was a hallway in the room where the worm was uh, that probably that, connects down here somewhere. Do we do we do we open the glowy door? I am just taking this slowly and as a group, so I don't just screw this up. I'm just the torch guy. <laughs> uh, sure. It's sure. just uh, whatever. If we get attacked by something, you're going to have to bring it out here right. so we can actually help. I will have my club at the ready. and Actually, first I will check to see, is the door locked? If the door is not locked. All right. I will open the door. And have my club at the ready. All right. Open the door. As you open the door, you see the faint green light. This 10-foot square washroom features an iron bathing tub to the north and a commode to the wet southwest. The northern wall glows and shimmers with ribbons of an eerie green light. As After a moment, as it realizes your presence, you see the green light start slithering, informing into words. The words read, I was Otari. Save me from below. Oh my god. Why do I save you, Otari? It does not react to the words as the green light starts fall, starts going. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, the green light? Uh, sure. Sure? Ooh, do you think maybe that doll we heard about could be Atari? 
Maybe. Sorry, I'm just talking out out, out of game here. <laughs> Theorizing. What, what if the insane one was actually Otari this whole time, the spooky one. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we'll follow the light. All right. Um, as you see the, the words disappear and slither back into the ground, you see what looks to be green footsteps. Continuing on. This is kind of cool. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Goes this direction. Okay. I'll open the door. Get on the floor. Oh, I have a bad feeling about the path this thing is taking us on. <laughs> yeah. Let me uh make sure I'm. We don't even know that this thing's telling the truth. Uh, <laughs> the other thing too is that if Irvon's theory was correct, we're, yeah. <laughs> we're about to loop to a certain place. Yeah. Right. Assuming right, the... it's correct. All right. And let me before you open that door. Let me just okay. double check something. Yeah, I think I've just came up to the to came to the conclusion that if I die here, I die here, and it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you guys to know that I have gotten to a point where I am no longer afraid of what lies beyond in this game. <laughs> this feels like a part out of uh, Doom 2016, where like you could watch the footage of someone like moving. And then you could like follow that after image to find the ghost, like the key you the need. Image. <laughs> yeah, it's like the Dark Souls blood splatter where you just see where they died last. <laughs> like, Fifty of them in like one like area for no reason, and then you see all of them are just suicide points. You get to you get to watch a little glimpse of Atari just dying to something invisible. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, you can now open the door. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. I open the door with my club still drawn. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Uh, am I able to step in? Yes. Okay, so, I will step in first. You have your uh, great club out, right? I have the great club at the ready. Make sure you have clumsy on. Yes, I will re-add clumsy as it is currently. It is. Uh, oh, boy. Where is that at? I already put it on. There it is. There it is. Oh, no, now it's clumsy, too. Okay. We're good. <laughs> now you're double clumsy. <clears throat> In the middle, you see a ruined table and several destroyed chairs lie in a heap in the middle of the room, along with several large bones. You see the light just start dancing around over and over, as if it was looking to avoid something. Oh, its wow. steps just keep going like this. And I want you guys to roll for initiative as you see the bones start rising up. <sighs> Otari, no! <laughs> you were our best friend. <laughs> All right. And then. Oh, oh yeah, I got it. God, I dude. On that track. The amount of fives I roll on initiative is so frustrating. Yo, 20 in ish, though. Skeleton giant. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Oh yeah! Oh, don't don't worry no, about that. Sorry, you've been working out. <laughs> don't worry about that. I, I wish it didn't tell you the names, but fuck. <laughs> I mean, we knew it was going to be a skeleton thing so. of some kind. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just. Oh god, he, Atari's been working out. <laughs> All right. Um, at the beginning of this initiative, though, you see the light was still dancing around whatever was being um, created. Uh, don't mind the other light that just suddenly appeared. Um, okay. you see it just, it was dancing around as if it was avoiding something until finally it takes time and goes past this door. So, so the giant it, bones have formed into a giant skeleton. Yes. No, they look no. like they are still forming. Uh, so that could mean, oh boy. You can either keep going or you can wait okay. <laughs> with the choice is um, yours. And yours alone. I will. It moved around the room how many times before leaving? It it was just dashing around. Okay. Um. In that case, I will take uh the step bees to go over here, and I will check the door. Yeah, you can open the door. Okay. Sorry, I had to refresh. So I will open, open the door, door, and I'll say the way is open. Do we go? 
the uh, light is still continuously moving slowly. I mean, I don't see the point in us staying here and fighting this thing if we can avoid it. Uh, so. With that, that was what? Uh, that was two actions. I you saw one more action. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I can get to here, I guess. You, you still have one more move action. You have 25 full feet. You can walk around. Yeah. Uh, I like low key. I, am I allowed to delay a single action or do I no, have to delay my whole No, you have turn? to delay the whole action. Okay. So then I will. Gosh, I don't I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave sight of them. So I will wait here. You also cannot see. <laughs> Also cannot what? You also cannot see that far because it's yeah. dark. Bo Boglin has the torch, so well, until Boglin's there. Boglin. I wanted to stay in line of sight of the group. Yep, but I'm just saying you can't see farther, like down that way. Yeah, this 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 way is cut off for my vision, basically. Yep. But no, I wanted to wait here and wait for wait for them. Okay. Oh. Uh. Wait, why is it dark all of a sudden? That's what you see. Oh, I don't see Boglin's torch in distance. Oh, um, weird. Let me, let me, let me. Boglin was behind me and the door was open. Let me. Boglin's torch light isn't even coming into the room. So. Weird. It, it's kind of, it's probably going to be something weird with the lighting like last time. Yeah. Well, you, you can see inside this whole room and that's basically it. And you can see like, this is. Where you can last see is just the green, the green light. Yeah. So I will motion to the group that it, it is this way at the moment, and I will okay. wait here. All right. Uh. Anton. I will go ahead and move. Just two run times. through the skeleton. <laughs> well, 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 run around. I have the movement to actually get here. Yep. And I, I, I assume that I used to. Uh, you close the door. <laughs> from with my mind powers. <laughs> I thought I closed the other one. <laughs> Anyways, uh. That's that is indeed two actions. Okay. You, you yeah. can keep moving more if you want. No, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna be raising my shield, and that that will be my turn. Okay. Just in case that the skeleton gets up. Okay. Gray. Uh, all right, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm just gonna follow them into the next room. Uh, all right. So I move five. So is it moving like right? Is it building like right there? Yes, it's building right in the middle. Okay, so I want to go around then. Basically, uh, yes. So uh, ten, twenty, twenty-five. So my first movement will take me to here. And then do you can get behind Irvon. Oh, to yeah, here? with the amount of movement you have left. Okay, uh, then yeah, I'll do that, and I'll just tell Boglin to just go around and follow us into the next room, and then close the door behind him. All right. And uh yeah, that'll that'll be me. Oh. Um I need to All right, Boglin. The turn tracker over there so okay. I can actually click the arrow. Uh, 5 10 25 for my first action. 5 and and then I'll close the door. So I'm going to Congratulations, yeah. the counter's done. Woo! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Yay. All right. Oh. All right. Uh, are, are we out of initiative then? Yes, you are now out of initiative. Okay. So right. I will assume my position in the front of the group. Okay. Boglin go in front. And Anton, I'll switch spots with you. All right. Um, from what you guys can see too, you see that there is more down here now that Boglin is there. But you see the green light. Continue on. And then goes into this wall. 
Check I will the wall. investigate the wall. Someone good at investigation. Check the wall. Yeah. I'll without the without wall. really needing to roll. Okay. You guys are able to see a secret door. Holy ah. hell, the amount of doors in this place is ridiculous. This is something else. See the light descend further downstairs until it suddenly disappears. All right, uh, we go downstairs after the light, I guess. Follow that light. You have a eerie feeling of this downstairs area. I have an eerie feeling of this whole entire area. <laughs> we go down here, we end up in the Osprey Club. <laughs> what the? I, you know what? I would not put it past them. <laughs> that is a long restaurant. Uh, let me just make sure. And can... an entire underground catacomb to get to a lighthouse. <laughs> Can you imagine having to go through an entire like catacombs area to get to your table at a restaurant? Why is the service taking so long? Sorry, I got lost in the catacombs. <laughs> Sorry, to go to the Dark Souls tube gutter to get to the bathroom. <laughs> Dude, it's easy. You just dash jump over this gap. I swear, it's like it's free. Just duck underneath the blade trap, and you, you know you'll be fine. Also, if you see the giant ant, he helps remove your poison. Just remember, Jehovah starts with an eye. Sorry, give me one second. Some weird reason. Also, tongue but hole. Is <laughs> this a dog? But hole. All right. I can now move you guys further down. You know, we're level three now. Oh yeah. New spells. Damn. Can't believe we got to level up after going down those stairs. It was that easy <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, you guys. I have I didn't expect you guys to be here down here already, but I'll just give up maybe a music that might work. I, I don't know what any of these sound like. Did it's we like, really time? Fire, like, <laughs> floor that was filled with like fifty doors? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we skipped, like, a number of encounters by just kind of going directly towards the problem. We're on the second you see, half You see that the um, the light is no longer there. Hmm. So we then that lost. means that whatever is... I mean, if we lost... If the light's no longer here, then whatever it is it was trying to lead us to is somewhere here. That's my guess. Well, Probably not not a bad guess. All right, what do you we have, see? You have a strong feeling that you shouldn't be here. <laughs> How strong of a feeling? Very strong. so strong that God is telling us. <laughs> but you can All right, continue. All right, gang, on. do we press on? Um, I, not I yet, but know. I'll keep the eye of the door in mind. Like, should ah. we just remember this place for now and come back later? Yeah. Do you really want to walk, walk back through the giant skeleton room? <laughs> no, maybe I mean, the giant skeleton might be better than whatever's down here. Yeah. According to there was another oh. area up there that we didn't explore yet, so. I mean, oh, you guys just you guys just have this sinking feeling that it's very eerie down here. I'm not saying oh. that you guys can't. Uh, well, I know that you're saying that we can't, but like that's just it. It's hard for us to interpret that because it's like. Is it that, like, this is a low-key warning that, like... It, he, that's up to your guys' interpretation. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. Wait. That's why we're debating. <laughs> it just <laughs> I'm just saying, I am narrating that it is very eerie down here. One, one's I, in the chat to go on, two's in the chat to go back. There's not enough people in chat to do that. <laughs> All right, Praline. Just follow me. Just follow Praline, me. you decide their fate. If you want the group to go in. <laughs> One is to go in, two is to go back. <sighs> I will now use the bathroom to see what you guys decide. <laughs> Chips in the one pot, so we're going I... in. Oglin is in the reverse camp. We are leaving. <laughs> I'm I... ready to leave. 
I I honestly feel like we we're gonna have to be down here anyways. It's oh Jesus. I, I'm <laughs> hearing a one from Gray. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm hearing a. Uh, uh, let's get out of here. That's okay. <laughs> I feel like we should explore and if something happens that we feel like is too big for us that we just run. I know. I'm just like, that's what's been going on the entire campaign so far. No, no you know what? We're level what two. What can we do, though? We're level two, and my great club counts as a giant weapon, or so God told me, so I have the damages. <laughs> we just have so many other places we can investigate still. Yeah, but how many of those places are actually going to yield us something of value? Yeah, we don't know if this is either, though, is the thing. So that every other place we've gone to so far has either led to something bad or nothing. I mean, this is probably going to lead to something bad, too. Yeah. So exactly, and that's something, with. and that's what we need here. We need something to fucking happen, finally. And that isn't just ghosts that's... rising out of blood pools that we can't do anything. <laughs> that sounds like another death flag to me. I just hope something happens. I don't even care what. <laughs> well, it's like let's let's look at it this way. We've explored this entire place constantly looking for some level of progression. And then of the little bit of progression we have been able to do, it keeps leading us into a goddamn dead end. Where it's right. like we have all this information but we have no way to use it or we haven't found anything of value that we can do anything with. And that's what I'm saying. I'm like it, why would we just continue going on at this point because I I just feel like every detour we have taken in here has just not really given us much, unfortunately. And I mean, I'm not saying that like this place has nothing. It could also be large in part to our roles being bad, but it doesn't change the fact that we've been consistently getting barely anything. And if we do get anything, it's not enough for us to truly solve anything. It's just more questions upon questions. Yeah. We need an answer. <laughs> Finally, we need an answer. Um, I, I will, I, like, to put it bluntly, there's been a lot of meandering on these things, so I'm just down to just bite the bullet on this one. Not that we have been doing anything wrong, mind you, but just, like, a lot of it just hasn't yielded anything tangible to us. And maybe the double, triple, secret passageway down below might be might finally actually be something. I should mention that the, this is the first thing that came out of us with the... Well, it's the first thing box. you guys found. Yeah. So, it's up to you. I I, I would rather just make no stone, stone and turn and not do the, the uh, possibly more dangerous than the previous level. So, do we want to go back up, check out the other doors first, and then come back down here? Yes, I would say do that. That's what I'm thinking, but okay, I'm... So, again, Gray, I'm you are the more. tiebreaker here. And by that, I mean, Gray, what do you want to do? <laughs> you, can make, you can make it another always, tie. Always gotta make it your choice. Because. You can make always it a tie, really. and always then you guys even. can roll... Uh, uh, you guys can roll odds evens to see which one wins. Honestly, we probably should just do that at this point because I feel like we are split. <sighs> yeah. Well, at this point, I, I don't know because like everyone's making like fair points, but it's like I, I guess I don't I don't know what what is best to do here. You know, well, my, like, my, last, thing, my last yeah. thing I want to put in on this before we make a decision is that I sort of don't want to risk going up there, running into something that beats us up, and then we're already gassed before we even get to the main event. Yeah, that's, that's pretty thing I'm a little paranoid about with going through here. Remember, I, then, I do know, like, the healing is now, like, nothing now, because I... Right, the healing is improved because we were doing that wrong. <laughs> yeah, but, not only that, but I don't have to roll anymore. Yeah, it's just guaranteed oh. healing. Well, guaranteed in that case, healing, but at a steady rate. Okay, in that case, then you know what? We'll 
I'll, I'll change my decision and I'll say yes. We can go examine some of the doors upstairs first and then come down. Okay. I will. Then that is what we will do. Majority rules. I, I will yield on this one. All right. You guys are going to go back upstairs? Yep, yep. We will keep this location marked in our minds. All right. And yeah. also, I guess we can check out whatever this, uh, this, this here poop swamp is in the area. <laughs> so I don't know why there's a Dark Souls 2 poop swamp in here, but there is. It could be, you know, the poop swamp. It could be Blytown. The fantastic boss known as Dung Eater. <laughs> the Dung Eater. The Dung Eater. <laughs> What's this superpower? The ability to ingest poop. <laughs> right. um, but yes, uh, but... Go about right there, and uh, let me just read this out before you do anything. Yeah, I was just going to kind of peek in the area and then kind of determine whether or not we wanted to go through here. All right. A thick knot of roots hang from the cavern roof over a muddy beach. Stone stairs lead up from the beach to the north, where, where you guys just came from. That's what you guys see at the moment. Is so is there like a ceiling above us then since we're underground like in this it is uh, there is cavern? still a big ceiling it's a okay. cavern it's basically a cavern at this point okay now. yeah i was just wondering if like, it like somehow opened kind up. Of area okay okay and we don't see like and he doesn't see like a tunnel or anything to follow at all it's just a beach it looks to be just a watery beach from okay. what you can tell uh do we want to Do we want to just do we want to investigate this place or do we want to head back to those doors? Um, let's investigate this before we deal with the skeleton. OK, uh, I will take a step in. All right. As you take a step in, uh, make a fortitude saving throw for me, please. Blind. Oh, no, it stinks. Oh, boy. All right. Please, it's a plus 10. Please just don't don't hurt me. <laughs> as you, as you uh walk into this place, you see what looks to be a fungus start growing from the ground. This fungus leeches out and pulls and you feel like your heat just starts leaving your body as you take 12 cold damage. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, it also says BM on it. <laughs> the butt Jesus. launcher. Okay. Um, you see it. Um, you see that you have a chance to react. Uh, all, all four of you have a chance to react before it's able to do another thing. Uh, technically, Jesus. technically with hazards, you, uh, you roll for initiative, but I don't like that. <laughs> Because it's just, you know. So I'm just going to give each of you guys a turn, and then it's going to be that thing's turn again. Okay, so now knowing that there are uh, fucking heat-sucking mushrooms in this area, uh, do we just book it through, or do we back up? I'm ready to leave, but there is a something over there. There is indeed more things down there. Well... Are we all confident in running through the fucking <laughs> poison swamp? We don't know how deep it is, and I'm very short. And I'd rather swim. fight the skeleton, let's be honest. <laughs> we were, I've already taken 12 damage from this, so I just want to know if we're committed at this point. Nope, I'm not committed. God damn it. <laughs> uh, Gray, what say you? Sorry, repeat all that. I was, um, I had to step away for a sec. Uh, so long story short, a mushroom came out and sucked the body heat out of me, and I took 12 cold damage. Uh, so, that being said, are we going to continue walking through what's basically the poop swamp, or are we going to take our chances with the doors behind us? Uh... Do okay. we want to try and run it, like, gun it to this area over here? 
or what are we what are we thinking? Okay. Uh, first of all, we've talked about uh, Anton and your healing. Just ha- there has to be. Is there some sort of limit to your healing, though? Uh, once I stop, you have to wait until an hour. Yeah. So there's still the hour limit. It's still there's an still hour, hour limit. To but, be I can healed, healed. but the healing yeah. can still. And I believe the over. and I believe the healing actually the hour starts from the beginning of the healing. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So it's like an. Uh, it ends up being like a 10 minute wait if you spend the full hour or something. I think. It's basically uh, 6, 6 p.m. you do the uh, healing. Uh, it took, takes 10 minutes. You, su- you're su- you succeed. You can keep going and you can keep healing from that. Then, um, what do you call it? Um, at 6 p.m. or at 7 p.m. you can do it again still, regardless. It's just from the beginning of the treat wounds. Okay. I. (laughs) I think that we should do the other doors first. Then the swamp. And then Look, we... I don't want to go to Blight Town yet. <laughs> okay, so is it's there an Elden Ring like we're there. backing off of the There mushroom. is a message down there that says Elden Ring. <laughs> Question mark. Uh yes, I think we will we will back off from that. Um obviously there is a a potion you could take or you can take some healing from Anton to make up for the damage that you just took. Uh, I'll I'll worry about that later. Remember, like, an hour isn't honestly a lot of time. Well, we're going to be exploring all day, so if if we want to get out and into the hallway and then you heal me, and then we move on to the skeleton, I'll be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Just squeeze past before another mushroom comes We back off. We back off the BM mushroom. All right, you back off the mushroom still erect in place is actually growing a little bit. But it's just it's coming at us. No, it's just growing. Okay. Probably just growing from what it just feasted off of you. And then how long does it take for the heal to kick in? Depends if he heals you. (laughs) Whoa. He needs to make the uh, treat wounds. medicine check or you can do well, actually I don't have to it's just assurance assurance is only with um your proficiency which is plus four you need a 15 wait is it I, I should have you have so are you that's my bad I, I, I should wait no I will I'm... inspire competence you can heal him Hold up. yeah let me really look at my thing did I forget something um if you're not because ex- yeah you're only trained according to this which is only the plus or I believe even with your modifier. Still, at plus at trained, it's plus six for some reason. Why does it say plus four? So it's plus two because of your wisdom. Yeah. That does not count. Choose a skill you're trained in. You can forego rolling a skill check for that skill to instead receive a result of ten plus your proficiency bonus. Oh, there you oh, go. No, that, plus six. So no, it's it's plus four because it's only your it's only your oh, prof okay. it's well, only proficiency that. and not. Your yeah, wisdom. Do, it's it specifically says do not apply any other bonuses, penalties, or modifiers. So oh, it, so I can't even aid then with that. Yep. Oh well, okay. So I just wasted a point, a thing. Yeah. I, I don't actually get that. Looks like I'm rolling. Yeah, you still oh, have God you still it. have to roll, but once you're an expert, you never have to roll again. Yeah, I know. It's just I, I'm kind of upset that I didn't notice that. Yeah, I, I had to reread it, too, because when I was looking over your guys' sheets, I was like, oh, that's pretty nice. But then I read that it says um, your proficiency bonus and not, you know, and not your actually bonus. not your full bonus. Yeah. Pain. Well, then I will aid. Um, so how does that exactly work? Uh, let me actually double check. I think you have to just roll your performance if I remember correctly, but let me double check. Okay. Yeah, because I know I do my performance instead of the actual skill check. And even if you fail, I get a success instead. I mean, if you're um, using, 
if you're using inspire competence and whatever aid, aid does, then it like... is performance yeah that's what i'm saying is i don't know how aid works though exactly i know how inspire competence works. um so basically i come up with a dc and you just have to beat it okay so uh just roll your performance so you're just basically singing him a a song with that performance, that is good enough to get you that plus one Woo-hoo. in this circumstance, as there is nothing hey, really stopping okay, you guys. Kinda, it succeeds. Hey, we, we made it. And so even if I fail, I succeed. As long as I don't crit fail, then I yep. succeed. Yep. So then you get 15 I'm HP back. Yep. And make sure you guys mark that Irvon can't get okay. healed until, um, uh, eight, until an hour 10. from now. Yep. Yeah, yep. until 10. Yeah, 8, okay. 10. So, that all have having happy happy hair. Oh fuck! Happy happy happy. Made me right. think of uh, that fucking. <laughs> you made me think of that goddamn like Siri thing where like he asks it a question, and she just has like an absolute meltdown of a response. <laughs> <laughs> Making the the dial up noise there for a moment. <laughs> for her, it was like. <sighs> <laughs> like it sounded like she was dying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go up to the door, since we're not going through poop swamp. Hey, everybody, battle stations. Wait, before you do, I was gonna recommend listening to see if you can hear movement in there. You do not. I will. Okay. Get a perception well, check on the door. I, I mean, Raylan just flat out said we hear nothing. So. All right. <laughs> Uh, okay. Because I was I theorizing that it, I was theorizing that it stopped putting itself together as soon as we left the room. Indeed, oh. your theory was correct. Yay! Now hurry. But now, <laughs> as you guys op- as you guys open the door, it's starting to form again. Do you guys stand and fight like men? No. <laughs> no, we just casually walk out. You guys, <laughs> you guys we will run now like survivors. <laughs> you guys will now casually walk out heroically. So I ran away, away, away. I closed the door. <laughs> and you guys heroically closed the door behind you. What do you guys do now? When danger reared its ugly head, Sigma team bravely turned and fled. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, it wasn't even head. We just kind of like, we're like, oh, it's a skeleton. You can't All open right, it. We want to go down or back up. Might as well keep checking new stuff. That's what we're here, right? There's stuff over here that we haven't done yet, and then there's uh, another door over here that we have not investigated at all. Uh, I mean, why don't we just investigate uh, the one that you're standing in front of now? Yeah. I check the door to see if it's locked. It is not locked. I open the door with club at the ready. Your club at the ready. Door. I Inside this in. room, you see, broken. Down torture instruments lie in half. Collapse heaps on the floor here. To the north slumps a ruined stretching rack, while to the south, a pillory lies fallen on the floor. Rusty tongs and chains, frayed and rotten whips, and other instruments of torture lie on the shelves that look about to collapse. Hmm. Uh, I will go ahead and investigate some of the debris in here. Alright, I would like you guys, unless you guys are spending 30 minutes in here, you just give me uh, perception checks. Yeah, I'm gonna. It was just like a brief check. Yeah, just a quick check. I'll take a look. Also, is this gonna be blind? Yes. Okay. I figured it would be blind. Makes yeah, sense. You don't know if you find anything. How tasty does that whip look, though? <laughs> you, how fresh? How fresh is the? It's leather? not. It is not fresh at all. It is Good. basically <laughs> dilapidated. <laughs> that means it's got seasoning. <laughs> You can eat it, yes. I'll, 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 I'll take a nibble of it to see. You t- find a bunch of slave equipment boggling, but that whip, though. <laughs> As you take a bite into the into the whip, a, a home of cockroaches just f- kind of run out. Ugh. I try to chew faster <laughs> <laughs> before they get away. Oh wait, are they going into my mouth or are they? No, like- they are. They are trying to like leave. Some of them oh, are just. Away. Some of okay, them are I now. Them leave, then. I thought yes. you were saying they're going into my mouth. Yeah, some of them are now like 
uh, going down your like your hand that's holding the whip. I shake it off. No, oh. this is mine. <laughs> Uh, you are now able, you successfully shook off all the cockroaches to your friend's, um, kind of dismay. I'm just... <laughs> this has been a... And Why is this underneath the lighthouse? Well, remember, this was also a battlement. Yeah, this used I to be a fortress, was... remember? This could be a dungeon of some sort. <sighs> Something, hopefully, without dragons. Title drop. Look title drop. <laughs> title drop. Pathfinder, not Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, just, no. it's, like, it's just Pathfinder crossed out with crayons. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Dinosaurs and Dragons. Yeah, uh, and the dungeon and the and the titles written like from Elmo's world where like the letters are not even like <laughs> properly written. They're like randomly capitalized and shit. And they're all like not even lined up. It's just some of them are higher or lower than <laughs> exactly. others. Exactly. <laughs> world. <laughs> anyway. Do you wanna play with Boglin? <laughs> no. Boglin loves you! Tickle me, Boglin. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, Irvon is Big Bird. Uh, <laughs> did our? <laughs> did we? Did we please, find anything, by the way? Please tell me he's the Big Bird that like falls off the stage mid performance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was one of the roles thinking... I've gotten. Yeah. Since there's two Knowles, I was figuring it was gonna be Bert and Ernie, but. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, okay. Did we, Moving along. Did we yield anything uh, with uh, 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 Um, no. It, this seems to be just a normal, well, I guess, what a normal torture room would look like. It, it's just something abandoned with not much else from the sound of it. As far as you guys can tell, yes. Okay. So, uh... Moving right along, then. Also, for some reason, I just imagine Grey as the, uh, as Big Bird's best friend, like the elephant. The, the the real, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, the guy, the one that's really depressed, right? Hi, bird. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> the great kind of makes sense here, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, do we want to do we want to just check these upper doors first or do we want to check the lowers? Well, this, this I just want to go top to bottom. All right, top to bottom, where I'm going to check this door over here. Is it locked? Um, With that door, it is not locked. All right. Uh, is Move. everybody ready? Ready. Ready. I will open the door once again. I'm drawn. And I will step into the room. All right. Uh, let me just read this before you guys continue. Several wide alcoves adorn the walls of this L-shaped hallway. Each alcove contains a small diorama of the same city facing different perils. A massive fire, a devastating tsunami, a thunderous earthquake, an attack by an enormous tentacled monster, and an invasion of an army of the undead. Wait, and these are on what? They are small dioramas in these alcoves. Hmm. Do you guys approach any of them? I will look at one. All right. I'll uh, look at the. I'll look at this one that I was next to already. All right. That one is. This one looks to be the tsunami. Double check. Are all of these just like dioramas of like the town getting horribly destroyed in a yeah. comical fashion? <laughs> actually, honestly, yeah, it actually are. They really are. Um, T is for tsunami. <laughs> as you walk within five feet of that, uh, I guess as you walk in to do, I would have already check. been within five feet when I entered the door. Just yeah, I'm, I'm. I need to like reword this. It's not. It's kind of weird with the five feet rule. Um, yeah. As you walk to start look at the diorama, you get a little too close. Ugh. <sighs> Oh boy! As this, <laughs> this vision of this, basically this vision of 
this like destruction leaps out at you. Oh. As a giant water tsunami strikes towards you. Are you serious? Uh, yes, I'm very serious. <laughs> Holy crap. Why? As you take. Yeah, no, for... Okay, 18, at least it rolled, though. As you take 18 Plus damage. 13. As you take 18 damage from the diorama. What the trap. hell? Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Yeah, yeah traps are um kind of assholes. Bullshit. For the record, I'm not looking at this one. I'm just holding the flashlight for dad oh, here. Yes, yeah, yes, I know. Into a trap. Uh, you're going to have to ask Belcora if she's still alive. I am a bitch. <laughs> you got a tsunami <laughs> that you got me in castle for. <laughs> Who did you design this for? Who did you make this for? <laughs> Who the fuck was like, all right, here's this diorama of a tsunami. Little did they know, it's actually a real fucking tsunami. Actually. Yeah, but you're not going to see that one coming, asshole. <laughs> wait a second. Before you uh, look at it, um, Irvon, are you trained in thievery at all? Uh, eh? no, I am untrained and have no modifiers. All right, um, Anton, are you? Nope. Uh, uh either in case it matters. Uh, just I double am. check. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll I'll be nice here. Give me a thievery check. Me or a uh, gray. Gray. Uh. Oh no, sorry, I'm not I'm not trained. Never I have mind. a I have a plus two modifier, but I'm untrained. Never mind. I'm sorry. I thought I did. <laughs> I assume that was an opportunity to prevent the damage. It was indeed an opportunity, but you do not <laughs> so have sorry. you are not trained. <laughs> you guys now know that stuff I have. You guys feel like the rest of these dom dioramas will do something similar. Okay, so so let's keep our who distance. Has that, from them. Who has a really long stick? I don't think the stick would change <laughs> whether or not it shoots something at us. No, I think it will. I have that ten foot ladder. Then I don't <laughs> yeah. mind if I use diorama's that. with the ladder. <laughs> I be I basically be knocking down and breaking the dioramas. <laughs> If well, you do I that, attempting to trigger them. I don't the think that's a good I'm idea. I'm gonna stand further back. I no, <laughs> I do not of this anymore. I, I legit do not think you should mess with those whatsoever. I, like at the very least, I at least kind of want to look around the corner and see what else was in this room. Otherwise, I think we're solid here. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what you're doing. Then I will follow. Let me show you it, what it would... hit you guys with. By the way, apocalypse beam. Yeah, that was what stood out to me too. So it's like, it's a this... beam. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think uh, because yeah, it would be over here. It's that they uh, trigger they, I I don't know. It's more of the fact that it is a projectile type of trap. Yeah. So poking it with a ladder is not going to keep you safe. <laughs> yeah, it's a You're projectile, just... but if it's a well, it depends on whether or not I can't aim. honestly just go like 90 degrees full view of whatever it can be i can just still poke it from around the corner with a fucking right. ladder right but i, I think the other thing though too to know is that uh I, there there are doors at the end of this room there's indeed <laughs> doors at the end of that room god mm -hmm. damn it do we want to go through i would say go through but like I said, well, as far as we figured, they don't trigger unless we get really close. Uh, yes, as far as you can tell. So if we just stick to like the center of the the hallway, are we? We, we won't know. <laughs> We'd have to just hope. It said uh, it was within five feet, so. Uh, yeah, for that one specifically, well, we don't know all, if that's. They're all like ten if, feet. If, Area. If they were all so, five feet, then that means the entire hallway's trapped. Well, so effectively, it would mean something like this, where I would move this way, move that way, and then go to the door. Yes, is you that, can do that. that. Yes, you can do okay. that. Okay. I will uh, just follow it. And then I can move down here. I guess we'll just follow. And then follow. That way we can all line up in these squares here. Where yes. We're at. Okay. 
Once more, I will ask you, God, are these doors locked? The doors are not locked. Okay, and then once more, I will say, <laughs> I open the door with my club in hand. Everybody close your eyes. <laughs> All right, um, Boglin, do you open that door or no? No. <laughs> All right. No. Nope. Okay, so I step. Not in. yet. Then a smaller Unless Irvan says that I can. Hang on. Irvan will say, go ahead and open the doors. Okay. All right. Raylan, what do you got for us? Uh, God will now read this excerpt. <laughs> All right. This large, low ceiling room has a cross shaped table at its center. Ten chairs stand around the table. The walls, floors, and ceilings of the chamber are completely covered with thick layers of webbing. And on the middle, let me double check if it's actually. In the middle looks to be that same town, but completely fine. The one that was in with all the uh, dioramas. Okay, so this is a diorama of what's potentially Otari. And it doesn't look destroyed. It looks just like a regular ass town. I mean, you guys can give me a society check if you can tell what town it is. Okay, uh, I will do that. I'll give it a shot. Oh, I'm actually trained in society. Let's go. Do you have to be uh, trained in order to uh, Blind, please. Yeah, I was about to say blind. That's what I was clicking on. Eh? Uh, it's a plus six, so it's it's not bad. I'll roll. Why not? I'm not getting close enough to see, so I will not. You guys can tell that this is the town of Absalom. Absalom. <laughs> but as you guys open the door with your light, a figure oh boy. stands completely tall from the ceiling. Oh, what the hell is that? Ah! Oh, oh so this is the trap. It's a kaiju. A spider-like creature. Let me... I, I don't know if I can actually show you guys the picture. What emotion does it carry into battle? <laughs> That's the important thing. Uh... But, uh you know what I just realized with all the emotions in in like names, we're fighting versions of like the sorrow, the pain, it's, it's etc. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, These guys ended World War Two. All right, so who's who's like the solid snake? Who's the liquid snake? And I, I guess that means that Gray is probably like Revolver Ocelot. <laughs> yeah, but uh, th this spider-like creature has the same, basically the same face, but he doesn't have like eight arms or legs he has two regular legs and two well one's kind of a stub of an arm but they both have they both house like r giant razor like like appendages in some okay. type of language that you guys I don't think any of you guys know it'll just start saying something very incoherent do any of you guys know the language Aklo Nope, didn't even know that was a language. I have common and null. He uh, seems to not be violent at the moment. He looks to be almost acting more regal than anything. But he's just I, saying words you guys do not understand. Can I, I? I will like perform a bow to the creature and I will say, um, can you understand me, sir? The creature, as soon as you bow, starts... If it, if a spider could smile, you could see it kind of have like a slight grin in as it, it kind of claps. It's like... <laughs> and he motions for you guys to get in the room. Oh, oh no, shit. Oh, Do you guys what? believe this? I don't know. This doesn't what, make what language was speaking again? Aklo. Okay, I don't have that. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to guess none of you guys do. I don't know how the hell we're going to do this conversation if we can't 
speak the same language. It, it's funny that it invited us to sit down in the chairs. That's the part that I'm just like, um... <sighs> Boys, do we follow along? Uh... I have... I actually have no idea. I mean, it's the first thing that hasn't tried to immediately kill us when we do something, so... Maybe. I mean, maybe it's in, time, it's there will in, be some promise. It's inviting <laughs> us in, and what you did was clearly made it happy. So I guess I will. I guess I will also bow upon seeing this reaction before doing anything. It, it looks to be elated. I will. Uh, I will enter the room and take I a will, seat. I will follow. It, and close to Mister Spinney. Um. As you guys, as you take a seat, it looks very amused as it's hanging upside down. The room just full of webs. Oh, I don't like yeah, this. Yeah, this isn't ominous at all. Oh my god. Is there some way we can convince it to speak common if it can? Because you feel like part... you feel as if it knew common, it would say something. Uh, I will try speaking to it in null on the off chance, maybe. <laughs> It looks rather confused, but as you guys all decide to start taking it, well, as, at least Irvon, I don't know about everyone else. Uh, well, I, I, I took his offer for the chair because I, I assume that's what he was gesturing to, right? He was not. Yeah, he was just yeah. offering you guys to get in here. Yeah, I'll he was just offering us into the room. Oh, well, then I I, I don't know if I. Can you put me on your shoulder, Mr. Spinny? We'll put Boglin on my shoulder. Yay! Boglin is now on your shoulder. Yeah, as I will, uh, yeah, just kind of see what's happening. After the moment, it curls its long talon like fingers as it looks like it's almost contemplating something. Can I use perception uh, to figure out what it's. if it's, um, that. If, if any gestures it might actually like try and convey to us it is it just looks to be thinking more but after that moment of you just looking at it it goes it pulls out uh it basically has his hands out as he looks to be asking for something uh what does it what what is it doing Exactly. We're going to play charades. He's basically looks like it's not exactly begging, but he looks like he's more demanding something like a, a, a tribute of sorts. Yes. As far as you guys can tell. Um. Oh, are you hungry? And I'll pull out some rations. And just like offer offer it food. Yeah. Yeah, you can offer it a ration if you'd like. Yeah, I'll... it sounds like we're starting with. All right. Uh, as all right, as you hand him the food, he looks very. It looks pretty pleased as it looks at the other three. I offer food as well, and it hisses as you try to give very much a similar thing. I will <laughs> offer some silver to it. It sees the shiny silver as it takes it from you. What do Anton and... I guess we have I... to, like, trade it an item that is not something that has already been traded. I will offer a grappling hook rope combo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it takes the grappling hook. Uh... Great. Great. He didn't leave and take the rope. Okay. <laughs> I. I'm like looking at my inventory. I'm like, I don't know. Just literally give it anything. Uh, I guess I'll. A water skin, flint and steel, soap, anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I'll give him uh. The, the water skin. All right. Uh, make sure you guys remove all the stuff you gave. He will gladly take the water skin. As he clambers back up towards what looks to be another area around here and puts him inside what looks to be a web sack. Hmm. 
he goes back right here. If there wasn't an actual like diorama of Otari there, I was expecting him to actually Absalom. like do a dance for or Absalom. Sorry, I was expecting him to do a dance. Because as you guys, <laughs> as you guys look at the diorama too, it's very obscured with webs, but you guys can at least tell from some of the other buildings that are similar from the dioramas. Um, he actually jumps down from the ceiling where he was standing straight and he sits on what looks to be a makeshift throne of webs. Hmm. Hmm. He looks rather pleased as he now has his toes, his talon like toes pointed towards you guys. And he says something in Aklo that you guys cannot tell. Aklo is also just a very deep, like a deep Brooklyn accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I got no idea what can to I, ask, so I'm going to leave that to you guys. Can I attempt a, uh, a, a knowledge check of some kind to... To, you guys can do a recall knowledge. Um, attempt to try and decipher what he said. I mean, you can't do that with language. You can just kind of infer what he's. I mean, asking. I was gonna say like Aklo is a celestial kind of thing, right? No, no, it's not a celestial. Um, it's it's very specific. Aberrations. Yeah, aberrations. So I would assume that would have something to do with occultism. Uh, yes, you could do. Point. You could do a. Occultism. Can I do a recall knowledge using diplomacy to see if, like, how to behave in front of a royal sort of thing, or would that be more society? That'd be more society. Dang. Um. So then. I'll still try it. Gosh, I don't. I feel like there's something we can do here, but I don't know what that something is at this point. Like, it feels like we did the right thing, but. But what? What does this convert to? <clears throat> well, um, if you guys aren't going to do anything else uh, for I'll Anton. These rolls go through first and then we'll we'll go from there. For Anton, you aren't really able to tell anything with that role. Unfortunate. Um, Boglin, much the same. You you don't know what royal like <laughs> royalty yeah. really is like. So <laughs> makes sense. Dang. Uh, so you, you guys have really no clue as he looks to be pointing his toes to you guys. His sharp talon like toe. <laughs> I there's like a I'm having a brain blast moment and I don't know if I want to go through with it. Brain blast. <laughs> think, think, think. The, the the five D chest moment of where he wants one of us to give him a foot rub. That's what I'm. I don't know why. That's what my brain is like. This is, there, is what is, is happening. Is he pointing right a now. foot at all of us? He is just sort pointing it in your guys' general directions. He only has two feet. <laughs> you know, on the off chance that this actually works, I will approach him with uh, hands out, gesturing towards his feet. He does not move, but does not do anything against that gesture. Okay, you have to I walk will... up to him. I hop off I uh, have... <laughs> Irvine's shoulder. <laughs> I will walk up to him. I will no longer have... I will... Actually, I was going to say, I will have put the club away at this point. All right, even... All cool. right, clumsy is gone. I'll try to do a flip when I hop off and like pose. Uh, acrobatics. Guy. All right. Uh, can this be public then? Oh, it's it's it is public. Better. Everyone can see you. Here we go. Do a flip. Oh, oh god. Oh. Boglin, as you flip right off of Irvine, you get caught inside a web for a quick moment. As you see, you meet eye to eye with a spider. Ah! that looks like it's salivating 
Ah, as, are you hungry too? <laughs> I pull out a ration for it. As the web breaks, you see the spider is just hanging up to the top right there. It's just watching. Watching. I'll offer Well, we a better ration. mind our manners, otherwise, lest we get the... Uh, we annoy the court. Yeah, so so basically, I will I will approach and offer the foot rub and see what happens. As you uh, as you start rubbing its feet, it starts. It, it looks a little shocked, actually, as it just <laughs> takes this and then starts pointing towards its really long, massive talon. All right, I will. Would it be a perception check to, to, to kind of like charades this out? Like try and figure out what he's trying to say? It would, I'd say it'd be performances. Well, actually, if you're going to try to charades it, but um, I'd say it'd be more of a society thing. Uh, I will go with the performance if you are okay with that. Cause I'm uh, performance is if you are charading for him. If I'm charading for him. <laughs> Oh, did that little spider take the ration that I offered it? Or did uh, it just, like, sit there it, and look at me? You, you did not have enough time because the web broke. Oh, okay. So, you still have the ration in your hand. But the spider so, is just basically looking at you. Before I, I attempt anything. It, it, it was shocked and it just pointed at something. It pointed, at, instead of its, like, feet feet, it's pointing at the talon of its foot now. I will check out the talon of its foot. It looks talented. Oh. I, will... I don't know. I give him a pedicure, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> will, will you actually, though? Sure. I'll give it a shot. As <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> As you, how do you pedicure it? Like, do you use like your club, your mace? Like, what do you uh... do? I will kind of like line it on like the tip of the javelin and just kind of like line it up and then start like sharpening it. Yeah. As you start doing that, the spider monster looks extremely pleased. It's going to web on you. <laughs> yes. Gross. As it now as it now just is enjoying this. What do you guys do while Irvon is, is pedicuring a spider monster? I guess I, uh, oh. I do. I am going to. Uh. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Spinny! Yeah! Does this affect everybody, by the way? Uh, it's one target. One target, okay. So, um, as it's doing that, it now point it now points its long finger like talons to uh, Anton and um and Gray. Oh my God! Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> Are we really doing this? Please inspire courage to me. Oh. Uh, <sighs> I don't point, but this was not what I expected at all. <laughs> we had like one hour left in the session, and I was not expecting us to spend like 15, 20 minutes giving a spider creature a pedicure. <laughs> uh, I guess I will pantomime in sign language. <laughs> what is thy bidding? Oh, it this. looks really offended. This. Okay. I'm inspired. Okay. Heroic. Uh, your your point. Hero pointing. Okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> with a natural, with a natural twenty, it's almost as if it was talking to you. It asks for you, the the rest of you three, to do something else for him too. So I he points to everyone else. You can tell just from his gesture. Okay. I I continue to just inspire competence whenever I can to aid the others. You don't really need to do that, but you can. It's now looking at you, Boglin. Well, actually, are you two actually going to manicure his fingers, too? His I will take his, one of his arms and then begin manicuring it. With All right, Gray, do you? <sighs> it's just sure. gonna fucking stab us with its sharp ass claw and when it's done. <laughs> Alright. Start to juggle the rations. Alright, performance. 
<sighs> Let me see. Here. Okay. And with job. and with that juggling, the spider creature looks very pleased. After after a bit of you guys filing its claws, it shoes you guys all off. Alright. As it now just looks extremely pleased. It says another thing in its language, but you guys cannot tell what it is. But it doesn't look hostile anymore. Well, uh... I guess we'll shrug, give a bow. Yeah. <laughs> I will, yeah. Give it the, the courteous bow and say, uh, We are departing, your majesty. All right, as you guys bow, it looks very pleased. You guys can now leave if you'd like. Yes. All right. Yes, please. Get, get us out, out of here. here. <laughs> hey. Can we just get back to the hallway with all the doors? In the murder hallway? Yeah, sure. I can't see, believe we just wasted time doing that. <laughs> you see, you see, um, Gray, since you're the last one leaving, it gestures for you to close the doors. <laughs> <sighs> They close the doors. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, the game was lagging a bit there. There you go. What? Let's just uh, get out of here, please. Uh, yeah, we, <laughs> we have so much important shit to do, and we literally just gave uh, that random creature a like literally a <laughs> odd treatment. <laughs> The alternative like, I jumped by like a dozen spiders and I'm just <sighs> happy that it ended the nice way. Yes. How it long ended did with that us take? Not having to fight it. That That's, that, that whole a debacle. Huge difference that whole debacle one. took about 30 minutes. Okay. okay. I'll say oh 30 minute God. Manny Petty. Not the worst. Cuz you guys anymore. gave it a pedicure. <laughs> and a manicure. Look, if you think about it, it'll remember that when it sees us next time, and maybe it might help us in the future. Who knows? Who knows? <sighs> okay. I'm just... Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting you guys to do that. Well, you know. I I mean, I wasn't expecting that to happen either. It was, it was the first thing in here that wasn't immediately hostile, so I'll take... <laughs> I'm just more frustrated that we couldn't find a way to, like, Communicate. Actually, communicate actually communicate with it because i feel like we could have found out something involving that diorama oh, yeah. and literally gained nothing of value hey, you got you got a plus one of your manicure skills i'll, I'll at least give you guys that <laughs> oh what do do? Bonus for spa day. <laughs> uh so with that being said i will once more ye god of gods yes the door is unlocked it and will be more. it will be locked if it isn't. Okay. And once more, uh I will reach my clumsy. By the way, how long did that take, by the way? Half an hour. That was half an hour. Okay. Just keep, keep so, an eye out for timer. With that, I will open the door with the club drawn once more. It, to oh, be another oh. door. Okay, <clears throat> as Are I was you saying. Really sure? I will open the door as soon as Gray gets over here. Oh, if this is another sorry. two tiles and then a door. Could you imagine? It's another spider <laughs> with waiting for a right, manicure. I step into the room. All right. So I heard we, about you, so we, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I heard about you. Yeah, you're the best the, manicures on the block. <laughs> uh, inside this room, shelves line the walls of this room, each filled with tools used for cleaning or repair work. A silver-headed cane lies amid a tangle of mops, brooms, and buckets. A also, silver-headed cane? Also, this area seems rather tidy compared to most other places. Something goes through here. I would like to investigate the cane. Oh. Sure. I think we should wait. I want a, a, a quick <sighs> check to see if it's actually silver or if it's okay. just like... As long as we don't touch it, that's... Oh, awesome. I need you. <laughs> um, if you look at it, it just looks like a cane. But if you grab at it, uh, let me know. Actually, real quick. Uh, does the room look like there's dust or anything here? No. Okay. I'm grabbing it unless somebody stops me. I will stop you. Okay. Oh, shiny! Nope. And then I nope. assume 
Mr. Spinny just stops me. Grab ah! Boglin and just. Mr. Kid Dapper's got me! Oh, wait! It's Mr. Spinny! Ah! Are you gonna yell that? I, 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 I am. Alright. I need to wait a moment. Alright. Uh. I feel like something comes through here. And it's I feel so like that's, shiny. Um, that something's not going to like us if you touch it shiny, Brooklyn. Oh, is it that other little thing back here? You know, we'll find out what it is, but first we'll just leave the cane alone, okay? All right. Promise? Yeah. All right. I'm going to set you down. Okay. And if you go for that cane, I make no promises of what I will do next. All right. I set Boglin down. All right, Boglin. Uh, when you made all that noise, I'd like you guys to make to roll for initiative. <laughs> oh boy. Damn. Wait, why did I roll twice? Oh no, that was the performance. Whoops. Well, easy come, easy go. Little high, little low. <laughs> little high, little low. It was real good on the initiative where we didn't do anything, and then right. real bad on the initiative where um, something happened. <laughs> the door opens violently as you are met with a demon-like fly creature with a long tongue. Is oh, is that from from something else? Uh, before? The demon fly? Oh yeah, there was a fly that got away when we fought. Sorry. I mean, it, it looks like it a fly, but really you know, it doesn't look like that fly. Yeah, no, it was just a regular giant fly from the other one. Okay, where? Fuck, I have to get inside. It wasn't whatever the fuck. You'd have to get inside. All right. If I movement still, I will um raise my shield. All right. Um, and get an ever stand stance because I realized I didn't do that, and I'm paying for it, and that is my turn. Okay. Uh, Boglin, this uh, flying demon-like creature is buzzing angrily. I will get in the room and get behind Irvan. I assume there's enough room for me here since I'm small. Even uh, though... yes, there okay. is. You have enough room. Okay, I will do that, and then I will um inspire courage. Just ah! get it, you guys. And finally, I will try to demoralize it. All right. I'll target it and then just make ah! and I'll just bang on my um, yelling <laughs> loud triangle. Uh, Yell I... and then bang on my triangle. Am, am I close enough to still get the inspire courage? Yeah, yes. It's it, 60 feet. Yeah, and it's auditorial, so you'll be able to hear it. Yeah, you have to be able to hear him. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I roll intimidation. Just remember to use the music note because that's the one with the the infinite duration. Oh right. With an intimidation against his will save, he looks somewhat frightened at you. Nice. Woohoo! And that is it for me. He looks a lot more startled than anything else at this point. That something is in here, but he continues on it's as he. His turn. Buzzes in angrily and starts attacking the first thing he sees, which is Anton. All right, big shield. Uh. Oh, is he not on the turn order? He is uh, not on our initiative tracker now. Oh, no. oh, right. He, right. He's invisible to you guys, right? <laughs> Uninvisible him. Is that Will Crit? Uh, you will get a hero point for getting crit. Just remind reminder okay. that is a house rule for us. You will also you will take twenty four oh. damage minus your um your harden. So however much right. that is, wait minus my harden or you, you know whatever your shield your raise shield is. Uh, raise shield just increases my AC. Oh, right. 
you have your shield up and you I I, I didn't do the um the the shield block. Oh yeah yeah you didn't shield block right. Nope. I'm not doing that to destroy my shield turn one. I know right. Okay, so you you will take the twenty four damage. I also need to That is also. Oh, wait. Oh, what? Don't, don't mind that. I accidentally clicked my macro. Oh. I was like, wait a minute. Why am I rolling? <laughs> I didn't click anything. I just changed my own. Well. All right. <clears throat> and it's going to attack again. Continually. This one will hit again. Not okay. a crit, though, thankfully. Not a crit. This time. I think I'll shield block. 18. Jesus. Shield block. Lowered it down. Uh, I'm down. You're down regardless with the shield yeah, block. So I'm not even going to bother shield. Oh, block. Jesus. All right. And with that, you are knocked down as it turns over towards Irvon. Thankfully, it's already moved and attacked twice. And it did reveal itself. Yes, it did reveal itself. I need armor. Yes, you guys do. Bigger armor. Ray. You okay. Would see Anton fall from the distance. Uh, I am going to. Uh, I mean, I've got enough movement to get at least behind Anton, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use my movement to get behind Anton. Uh. And uh. I'm going to. Hmm. Uh, I think I will. Would I be able to give him a potion to get him back up? Uh, that would be one action to pull it out, and then one action to administer it. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just use my other two actions to get him some health. Okay. I'll just use the lesser potion that I have. Uh, so that's 2d8 plus 5. Really? That's a lesser? Damn. Alright, so roll the lesser, see how much he heals. Okay, so real quick, just so I'm like clear on something here. Uh, yes. Uh, plus 5, so Anton, you get 12 HP back. Critical hits take in all value, like everything's totaled up, and then the re the result is doubled. It de um, for these crits, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure of that. I think that's how these are put in as. All right. Uh, um. And then yeah, that's my turn. All right, Anton, you'll be awake with. Uh, but you are still prone. You are dying or wounded one now. Okay. Yeah. All I was right. gonna say uh, everything's already done. So I right. will. I will rage. Irvon is seeing your friend get down to the floor from the from that weird fly creature. You get angry. You are now raging. And then I will swing twice. All right. First swing. Oh, let me uh, do that first. Then roll. First swing will oh. go wide as he dodges, definitely. Amazing. So I get a plus one circumstance bonus. Because clubs are cool. This one will critically miss as this big unwieldy club hits the wall. Well, anyway. <laughs> All right. Anton. Okay. I'm going to get up. Yes. I'm going to swing at it. All right. Uh, remember, your things are on the floor. You have to grab them. Oh. Uh, well, in that case, I will pick up my weapon. And, and then you can swing at it. 
I could swing at it. But... Nah, I, I, I assume that I... I did that assuming that I would actually have an action left over to do that. So I would get up, pick up my shield, and then raise it. Alright, uh, your shield is now raised. Yeah. And that is my turn. Okay. Unfortunate, but... Uh, I will inspire courage again, and then I will also give Anton um, Forbidding Ward against this creature. Okay. As you now have Forbidden Ward, uh, Frightened is now gone from it. I, I forget to get rid of it. Alright, it'll be... It'll start attacking the two gnolls in front of it again. The first one on Anton. Another critical hit. Oh my Not god. Fucking you for real. As you take Jesus. 32 damage. Again. You are dying three actually now. Jeez. Thing's kinda strong. Yeah, that seems to be That's a running game. Really, really good. They are also just real, rolling really good, honestly. All right, uh, second one to towards fair, Irvine. It is like a fifty percent chance of critting me. More than that, actually. The second one will miss, as oh. the. But the third one will crit. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! Uh, this is maybe I'm just really good at rolling. Yeah. Well, I get a hero point at least. Let me just, uh, yes, you do indeed get a hero point. Let me just. I also check get something. one as well because I got crit. Oh, don't let me not close the door. Okay. Oh, wait, was that. Uh, don't worry about that. <clears throat> well, they weren't blind. That's why I got confused. Yeah, don't worry about that. Okay. <sighs> so up next is Gray. Uh, let me just do my damage real quick. Uh, 34. Alright, I am oh down. Because that will knock you down. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. Okay, you are now dying one. I think rage subsides. Yep. Alright, your friends are now... Dying on the floor. What do you do? It looks very pleased with itself. So annoying. I can't argue when it rolls like fucking five crits almost in a row. What do you do, Gray? I don't fucking know. Like... <sighs> Fuck, dude. Like, I don't know what to do. Last thing I was expecting was just crit after crit after crit. It's I mean all I can it, think is that I can just attack. I'm not gonna be able to get you guys out of there. Yeah, I was gonna say at this point just try to kill it and then let Boglin help heal us. Yes, be a bit yeah. more offensive. The only thing I could do is battle medicine. That's like that. That's the best I got at this point. Cause this, uh, this this got away from us really fast. Very fast. Yeah. Oh, also, shouldn't Irvon be moved so that he's not going immediately after? Since yeah, I, need to be, I should be ahead of. Uh, yeah, I need to. Warren. Yeah, I need to put both of the uh, right there. There we go. <sighs> okay. Shouldn't I, I was gonna say, shouldn't I be able to handle this? Yeah. 
Um, yeah, that 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 should be the correct turn order there. Yep, got it. Let's see here. Okay, so would I be able? I'm assuming I'd be able to easily just walk over next to this thing. Uh, yes, you easily can. Yeah, you'd be able to get to, to right here. <sighs> All right, what do you do? Uh, well, I'm going to start off with a, um, with a focus spell. Uh, because it only takes uh, because the cast time is only one action. Yes. To use it. Um, the only thing I need a uh, I need a reminder on uh when certain spells have like heightened plus two. What does that mean? A heightened uh, plus. You don't. Uh, it, that, it's at a higher level. Yeah, you could do yeah. it at a higher level. It, it's it's so it doesn't apply for us level yet. scaling from D and D. Yeah. Yeah, so if it's a level one spell and it's heightened plus two, that means at level three it gains that effect. I see. And then at level five and seven, etc. Okay. Um. Or actually, no, wait. I'm not gonna do that first. With because wait, with this, if I use a spell, does that? Count uh, what What are you trying the... to do first? Well, I was going to use my new uh, focus spell, Force Fang, but wouldn't that add to the um, to the uh, reduction if I were to attack again after? It shouldn't. If that's let me double check with Force Fang, because that's your Conflux spell, right? I don't know why it shows up in your level one slot. It should be under your focus arcane spells. I, I, I moved it. To, yeah, I moved it to the focus. Because okay. I saw that it was like on my list. I was like, why is that down there? It's supposed to be up here. <laughs> it uses focus points. Hmm. Uh, it was just like... wondering like if... Because I'm, I'm guessing spells don't count towards the subtraction from... Spells, spells do. Um, they are accounted as an attack. I believe with Force Fang though... It does not have the attack trait, so it does not have um, multiple attack bounty. So, for an instant, you transform your weapon or unarmed attack into a spike pure force, replacing all normal statistics and abilities. The force fang on that. Oh, yes, it would automatically do that damage. Okay, but I wouldn't receive a penalty if I if I were to attack afterwards. It doesn't look like it, just because it's not an attack. Do you have to make an attack roll to use it? No, no. it's just guaranteed yeah, damage. That's no. guaranteed guessing, damage. That's probably why it doesn't say this accounts towards the multi-attack penalty or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't. Because yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. It does not deal. Um, it does not have the attack trait. So, yeah, yeah. it does not count towards your multiple attack penalty. Oh, okay then. Uh, so then, you could use yeah. a focus point to auto deal that one d four plus four one. Yeah, one d four. Four plus one. Yep, I will do that. All right. Roll the damage. As you okay. deal four damage to it, what else do you do? Uh, I then do a... Uh, I'm going to uh, two-handed swing my katana. Okay, you can put one hand on your katana. That is actually an action for some reason. Oh, I, is it? Then I won't. I won't do that because this is my last action. So yeah, I, I won't do the two-handed then. Yep, you could just do a regular swing if you'd like. Yeah, I'll I'll do a regular. Yes. Um, God. Yeah, I don't know why that's a an action, but you know, putting away like taking one hand off is not an action. Oh yeah, because you know it it clearly takes me like a, a lot of effort. To put my, yeah, I gotta like line up just perfectly before I can like grab the sword. I All think right. it's to prevent like some cheese, if I can remember like, correctly. Oh, I was, I, I actually just, I did that beforehand. 
So you can't just you like actually commit to it. That will hit. Nice. And with that seven, you see you deal a sizable amount of damage to it. As soon as you it gets hit by that katana, it reels back and is now on the floor begging for its life. Inside your mind, Great says, please, please, stop, stop. Give me one reason why I should. It will it'll now, um, it looks to be basically kind of um, a lot less intimidating than it was. It says. Keep looking. Uh, if, just, it, I'll offer. Uh, uh, no, I'll give you a special memory. Yes, please, just let me live. Special memory. Uh. Are you capable of healing? Zzz, no. Zzz. <sighs> okay. Uh, then I will. Say, uh, who? Just use a potion on me, and then I will heal everybody. He doesn't have okay, one. Okay. Well, uh, uh, yeah. Unless you, do you already use the one? Uh, well, apparently, uh, according to my inventory, I had a minor healing potion, but I think I used that. That, that was the one. Yeah, you the... you didn't actually use it. You used the. You just rolled the d8. You got to make sure you actually click on it. But yeah, you already used that I one. I have one lesser healing potion. Well, no, what I'm saying though was that like just a moment ago, I had two in my inventory. Oh, okay. I one. I have one in my inventory, anyways. So I, I, I'm just not sure if I forgot to subtract a potion or if I was supposed to have two. I can't remember. Uh, I only remember giving you one. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we were out previously. Because all of you guys were, were all having out. so much trouble. <laughs> yeah, and then we got some before got, we headed out. Right. Got one each. Yeah. Yeah, one each. Yeah, so I would have already used mine, so I'm going to remove this potion from my consumable. Yep. So, to reflect that. Okay. But uh, it is now Boglin's turn. Okay, I... Oh, yeah, I guess I can't really talk to it, because it's... My actions are done. Mm -hmm. yeah, you just... Gonna... Um, Boglin, you just see the fly creature now groveling at Grey. Uh... Okay, well, I'm going to soothe on Anton, first of all. All right. Uh, You now feel the healing effects of Soothe. And this is actually heightened, so you get... Healing train. Oh, wait, no, it's not heightened. It, actually, how you does wanna... that work? Burr. Uh, you have to use a level 2 spell slot. Oh, yeah, I don't have those, so never mind. Because that's an actual spell, not a cantrip. That's my bad. Uh, so, yeah, it's just a 5, I guess, unfortunately. Right. I It's it's fine to sit off. I yep. mean, as long as it's enough to get him up, right? Yep. Um, And then... I'll just inspire courage again, I guess. To inspire just in case. courage on me if you can. Oh, uh, you mean inspire competence? Competence, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll also do that then. I'll inspire competence. Let me re this. You're now um, wounded two, by the way, just in case. So that way, for any the next medicine check that takes place, I can aid as a reaction. And that is it for me. All right. Anton, you awake from the soothe. You are see, wounded, prone, and all I your stuff's Urban on the floor. unconscious next to me, and the instinct in me is to immediately attempt to heal to battle medicine. While prone? Yeah. Okay. I mean... I don't think it actually affects you in any way, so... Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think that would affect anything like that. And yeah. I will aid with it. As my reaction. All right. Uh, roll your treat wounds. I need to actually make like an action that, that actually does the roll. But medicine. That will be. I don't even good. need the aid. Nice. Nice. All right. All right. That will heal Irvon for 12. How do you heal him from a prone state? Basically, what the fuck up? Closing, 
just laying there, you just smack <laughs> him on the <laughs> I, I do yeah. wish I, they could have that. <laughs> Get the fuck up! From Payday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Irvine, you awake from uh, the healing of Anton. Okay. And uh, I believe you still have... How much actions is a battle medicine again? I had to take out my... Your no, healing no, my... tools. No, my healing no. kit is, is, is just on me. It, it doesn't require me to pull it out. Uh, battle medicine one. is a one action? Or is it a two one action? One action, yeah. I still one have two action. actions. Yep. Uh, two actions. What do you do? Uh, now that I've healed him, I'm actually going to look around the room. Uh, you <laughs> see, you see right there, right in front of Gray groveling is the fly creature. You guys can't hear what it's saying. It's only speaking to Gray. And I'm literally just holding my sword in front of it. Well, that's, that's actually, yeah. Groveling. Let me put uh, a I'll prone on it. I'll just stand. All right, you stand. And collect my shield. All right. And that's going to be your actions, Irvon? My actions, so that's my three. Uh, I will stand, pick up my club, so that's two actions. All right, you have one action left. Uh, Crone is gone. Uh, I am holding the club, so I'm clumsy still. Uh, I will thusly ask Gray, are we doing this or what? Uh, it's currently talking to me and it's offering me something. Give me a sec to ask some questions. You okay. have one action. You cannot ready because that ready requires two action. Yeah, I will I will just wait. <laughs> okay. I will I will listen to Grey and yield here. On its turn, it will just keep talking to Grey in its mind while it's groveling and it goes, Zzz, just I'll give you a special memory. Might be useful. Zzz, zzz. Uh, okay, I, I'm willing to receive this memory, but I also want to ask it, like, who is it? Why is it here? Z I, my name is Zazurlin. Yes, it <laughs> sounds exactly like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> And it was like Zazlar, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's very hard to say. <laughs> Zazlarin? I'm the janitor. <laughs> the janitor? Belcora contracted me to keep this place clean. S see? You see? Think? As you see him now licking the floor with his l extremely long tongue. I nod. Like, uh, yeah. In approval. <laughs> like I know this cleaning method. <laughs> All do well. A, fa a person of culture, as Boglin would probably call. Them. Um. Okay. I remember when humans made me do that. Have you? I, I didn't really like it. Have you seen Belcora recently, or anyone for that matter? Z no, no. Z z it's in my contract. I continue to. Z clean. Okay. And I guess the last question I have is how can I know that I can trust you? Z it just buzzes. <laughs> it's up to you. As a sign of good faith, okay. it relinquishes its turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so nice of it. Okay. Um, then what I what I'll first do is you know, I'll relate to everyone what, what it's told me so far because it was saying that in my mind, right? Yes. Yeah, so they had it's no idea what it was saying. Us if we talk to it. Yes. It okay. does understand us if we talk to it. Um, it's just that it can only communicate into in my head. I assume it can also speak to you guys if it wants to. Yep. Uh, uh, I'll basically just tell them uh, that I'm going to accept this memory. Um, but while in case something happens, I want them to be at the ready just just in case. You're trying anything. It, 
Exactly. In case it turns out to be a trick, I want you guys to be ready. And I then say to it, fine, I will accept this memory. Uh, and in exchange, I will let you live. Uh, it will agree. Um, what else do you do with your turn? You saw two actions. Uh, I, um... I guess, no, I don't really think there's anything more I can really do. Um, I'm going to... Maybe a recall knowledge. You could do a recall knowledge, yes. Yeah, you know what, maybe, sure. I don't know what I'm recalling knowledge for, but... <laughs> um, depends on what you think would work. Uh... You can see what kind, what kind of creature this is. That would be maybe a religion check. Would there, could I maybe do like an arcana check towards it? Like see if there's some sort of like. Sure. I'll let you do an arcana. If it okay. actually has the ability to do this or if it's just trying to lie. That and also like, I don't know, it could be like a creature that like through a spell was bound to this place or something. It did like, mention something about a contract. Yeah, it mentioned a contract, and the thing is, is that I, it said that it has not seen who it made the contract with. So that means that it's just bound to continue doing this. It's like, I don't know what kind of on-paper contract could have bound you for that long. Um, would you want this to be a blind roll? Yes. Okay. And here we go. Arcana. With that check, you kind of size up the creature. You don't exactly know what it is, and you don't know its capabilities. Man, it's always the blind rolls where I roll terribly. <laughs> Very. It's just like always low. All right, uh, then I guess that's that's my turn. Um, All right. I'll, uh, take on that memory. Oglin. Uh, I will just inspire courage, and I will. Um, I will put a forbidding ward on Gray against okay. the creeper just in case anything happens. Okay. Thank uh, you. So let me cast that again. And that will be it for me. Okay. All right. I'm going to check two things. Oh. Well, <laughs> um,. I see the sign back there and instantly assume it is a either a religious or an occultism thing. Can uh, I actually make You can do that as your um action, yes. If you want to recall knowledge for one of them. You can actually recall knowledge twice, but it technically has like a basically the multiple um, attack penalty. Okay. Technically. It's kinda weird. I will, uh, you start to gradually get a worse and worse headache <laughs> the more you think about it. Uh, I will attempt a religious thing on the creature sure. itself to see if it's known for lying of, of some kind. Sure. Because I don't trust this thing at all. Hey, not bad. Not bad if it was uh, blind, but... <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> but with that, yes, you are able to tell this is a devil of sorts. You know it to be a lesser devil that has not really that much power and is kind of summoned just to do like others biddings you feel that even though you know devils aren't like the most trustworthy this one doesn't really have too much of a will of its own to really like have that kind of um mind to betray someone that it okay. gives its word to that's mostly what i what i was ho uh, hoping to, to learn and lastly it will go into everstand stance okay. and then Shield. Also, is your shield broken? Because you did um, block, didn't you? Uh, I said, I ne never mind. As soon as I saw the damage, I was like, never mind. Okay. It's close to breaking, though. Okay. Uh, anything? You just have your raised shield. All right, yeah, Irvon. You can smash him if you'd like. He's on the floor. 
four. He's BRB'd. I will assume that he's not going to smash him on the floor. But that just ready in action. I, I'll say, I'll say for Irvon, he's probably just going to ready an action. He'll ready a, a swing attack at it if it does anything funny. Sounds accurate. That sounds fair. So it's going to ready that as an action. On its turn, its eyes start to glow red as it flies, as it looks directly at Gray. And that's where we'll come back next time. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right, let me set this up. All right, you guys, thank you all for joining. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Pain. <laughs> Much pain. Pain. <laughs> But hey, we'll see you guys again in two weeks. Uh, next week is going to be the other group, and we'll see how they deal with much of the same stuff. All right. Take care.